Welcome, everyone. No one is here yet, probably, but we are here, and we're gonna do this thing. And we just like the first one we did recently. Uh, we did not do any kind of advertising, so we'll probably have less people this time. But oh well. Anyway, we're just gonna we're just gonna do our thing. I might build some things. That's why I have the setup out here. Woo! Yeah, shout but, out uh, to Christina Applegate. Oh man, I love that lady. What uh, does does she does she actually have a gate full of apples or is that just a, a euphemism? I, Idaho, Idaho, Idaho. It's a good good place, I think. No, probably no, no. Okay, all right. Well, um, maybe we'll give it a minute before we talk about these stupid minifigs. Uh, there's there yeah. are things to talk about because yeah, there's like two gonna, people. Yeah, but yeah. Say hello to the the common folk. How's it? How's it hanging, people? Yeah, we we call you the Con folk because we know we're better than you. Uh, no offense. Yeah, Con Air is my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh boy, look at all my ooh, awesome! Look at this this hot Lego mock I was looking at. Right, I need to pull this up. I'm gonna look at this shit. All right, let's go That's look cool at. Actually, to be honest. Yeah, there's this guy. He does these interesting uh, builds. They're all like digital designer things. Bricks Noir. If you want Lego porn to to wank off to, that's that's your prerogative, you weirdo. Hey, look, it's Black Panther, Vakis, and Alexander Caleb Empire. <laughs> I love it. Oh, all right. So yeah, I've got now. I've got the tab here. Look at that. Hey, Caleb, try and make a skinny, tall, lanky by a type of apple. I did say I was going to do that on the next one, uh, last time. Last time on us goofing around, I said that. So exciting stuff, exciting developments. All right, will we get any interesting? What you doing? What I doing? Skinny, tall, and lanky sums me up. All right, it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's not even for a second. I thought you were talking about yourself, and I'm like, you're not tall. <laughs> oh, you monster. You know what? <laughs> You're a monster. monster. <laughs> IDS, You're the monster <laughs> under my bed. Oh, uh, or inside of my head. Whatever that stupid oh, sound says. Uh, anyway. Um, well, I don't know if anyone else will pop up. But we got three people. So. Oh, hey, yeah, we got five. Whatever. Uh, Caleb, do you, do you build mocks? I build mocks. Wow, but not good ones, basically. Wow. Here, wow. here, here is here is the development from last stream. I I actually improved my mock over stream. I mean, I mean, uh, since the time I built it. So, oh look, it's what's that mock called? Crotch fire. Crotch fire. Uh, I, that's a good name for it. Count F is the average human matoran. I don't know what that means, but okay. Gonna return to Florida from Buenos Aires soon. Oh, good. I'm gonna meet some guy, or probably not. Hopefully not. No offense. Vent light, Bud Light. Good to, Bud good light. to speak. Is your Bud Light or is he heavy? I just realized Swamp Fire kind of looks like it doesn't look like, but just like how Matau in Legends of Metronui had like the orange. I actually thin. thought about that. Yeah, the the face has a sort of basic general outline. Yeah, and, and then kind the of like yellow thin is like Matau, like. Come on, man of action. What are you playing at? <laughs> it's hot there. Yes, it is hot in Florida. Yes, Thank it is you. hot in the man of action studio. Oh, oh no, no, no. He was talking. Oh, Tinfoil asked about um, Buenos Aires. But was it good? I like <laughs> now we're just like reading the play by play of some conversation <laughs> about Buenos Aires. This, Buenos is, this is where we're at, buddies. Anyway, um. All right, I, you know what? Screw it. Let's talk about the freaking minifigs. Um, yeah, here's a tab. Uh, let's. All right, so let's we. One. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, the words of Gary's story. I want them all. I mean, my son wants them all. <laughs> my son. <laughs> Disgusting mongrel. <laughs> Ugh. Who is that? You, uh, for some reason, my uh, my URL or my page is being stinky, so I'm gonna have to reload this page. So now we still have to wait for nice. to talk about these things. 
Unless we want to talk about the legs or the freaking birthday boy. Okay, here we go. But even though now the page is ruined, okay. I don't know. This is Cactus Girl, I guess. Yeah, thank you to Lego for making more $5 minifigs, probably, at this point. I want to say they started off at $3. Now they're generally $4. Much. I'm expecting the $5. Soon. Like, when I, when I see a minifig for £3, I'm like, holy crap. I remember when a set like Uplink, which was like reuse mini mech from Exoforce, was like four pounds. Yeah, four exactly. Pounds. It's like, oh, if we charge a dollar less than a set that has like 35 pieces, then it's worth it. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, like what is this shit? And uh, we were talking just before we started. I thought, okay, those arms, they might be cool for like, I don't know, making barnacle hands. But yeah, no, they, they look no connection they that points. Kind of shape. But no connection points whatsoever. <laughs> yep, because it's freaking minifig arm socket. So it's going to be useless. Uh, and I don't know why a woman would be in it. Uh, why would a woman dress up like a pickle? It's fucking 2018. I'm sorry. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm a sexist pig. And also, but, let, can, oh, we read, also can we read? Can we read? And you can read the caption that they've put there to explain your answer. I mean, to explain your question as well. Cactus Gold thought she was making an interesting and one of a kind outfit to wear to the party. Maybe she should have thought about more about the. I can't read. Have thought more about the downsides of such a pointy ensemble. Wow, she dude. She really should have, yeah. But instead, she uh, she made a, a vivid mistake. That does, that wasn't right. She put herself into a bright, prickly situation. <laughs> bright, prickly. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, you're right. Also, oh. because of the, the f how far down the cactus overlay goes, does that stop the legs from bending forward? Presumably. Uh, presumably, they can only bend forward just a little. She can wiggle around. Good for I don't know why they do it like that. that. I mean, I guess they're trying to get the straight shape of the cactus, but I, I, you know yeah. what? It's fine. No one's going to freaking use a cactus suit for extended stop motions anyway, so the w wiggly feet... Uh, I think, to me, the suit gimmick is worn out. Yeah, you get your banana guy or whatever and your hot dog yeah. man, but like, cares about... The only thing good about this is you can make the cactus guy from the Purple Pills video who dances with Swifty. That's it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you, or maybe just, I don't know, at the same, like, for all the money they're spending making a new mold with a head in it, you could have just just well made, like, a proper cactus piece. They probably have something like that at this point, but I don't know I if they do. They don't. Mm. I don't think they do, actually. I don't know. Maybe they do. Yeah, they will. Make, like, a, a good-looking Chewbacca minifigure. Cause oh, all my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The newest one, they it's like every time they just have something nice and simple. I want to say their freaking oldest one is still the best one to do. Yeah, the original no, mold. It, no it doesn't printing. have printing except for the nose, but like it looked nice. You don't need that much detail to it to look nice. The the I, over paint, the overdone paint applications and the new on the new ones look awful. It, it's really bad. Yeah, no, they've done a bad job. All right, well, I guess let's move on. Also, pickle wreck joke. Thank you, Victor Milankovic, for bringing up that reference. Idiot. <laughs> All right, here's the most boring mini pig. So we'll talk like, about like interesting concept, but why? It's like in terms of parts, the printed part is cool. Um, save this for like a classic throwback set i mean they did a throwback set recently seriously there are so many great sets where you could just throw this guy in especially considering i want to say even to this day lego does the gimmick where some of their big throwback sets all have that standard minifig face as the only face in the set it's for the women and men. um the modular buildings when they first started the first few waves would only have the smiley face now they've just kind of given up and given oh them. oh i think that's what i was referring to so they have given up on that okay. yeah like the for a I was going to say recently, but it's been like several years now. Yeah. <laughs> but Ugh, but with... Same with Creator. Creator kept the simple face, but now they've just given up for, I guess it, now people, because before Creator wasn't necessarily minifig compatible, but now it is, which I mean, it makes sense to make it minifig compatible. Um, yeah. But now that they've it done is. that, they've just basically just an extension of City. Yep. 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 It's true. Um, what does he all say? Right. Caption on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here he is, the birthday boy. Oh, it's his birthday. The police officer is one of the first modern Lego minifigs ever. So I guess it was his birthday. Idiot. Um, all right, mongrel. Uh, who cares about your birthday? You should be dead by now, right? Isn't this Please company die. like 80 years old? Please oh, die. Okay. Isn't this idiot the birthday boy? Like, what? I think the point is that they're celebrating 40 years of the minifig in general, so they're throwing him back as a birthday thing too, but it's 40 years since the minifig came out as a Lego product. 
as a character right. um, so, or as a building thing. Only thing interesting about this guy is I assume that's just a classic head mold piece, but they've probably got one of those um, Lego Friends holes in there so they can put the hat on. Yeah, that is amusing because now you can do that with other pieces too. You can have his hair be on fire. You can have his hair have like the the plume at the top of it, like old yeah. knights things. Uh, yeah. But a lot of them would look ugly in application anyway. So it's not particularly useful. And that's basically all you get out of this outfit. Like the, the suit looks kind of nice, but it's covered in pink garbage. So yeah, because um, it's cut because he's. In I pink, guess yeah, I can I could foresee a city set with like a. I don't know, like a cake shop in it or something where they'll reuse yeah. this mold. I guess I could see someone like uh, the, what, who's that guy? Michael Hickox, who makes all those Lego videos. I could see him using this as an excited minifig yeah, face. Yeah, I can imagine it being like a really like entertaining video that's really boring. But like Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just described Michael Hickox's whole channel. It's like Cute his videos are really well made, are, but they're yeah. really boring. Yeah. Also, his, this is really random, but his trademark Lego move is... Okay, I don't like animating minifigs walking with their arms like a normal person would. So a lot of times I'm going to have my scripts revolve around running around. So instead, I could just have both their arms forward when they run. So it's like fast. Uh, like they're running fast. And so oh, aren't they're like reaching out as they run. It's a way to be lazy on animation. And that's me being a, a jerk. But uh, but it's what I've it does. It does make them look like they're running like Frankenstein. Yeah, it does. Uh, but whatever. I, but they're trying to get something. That's the that's the whole point. It's not that he didn't want to move their arms every time. All right. Just before we move on, I'm gonna just oh do the comments, see what if anyone's saying. Pickle Rick, Callan killed it. How much would you pay to drink milk straight from Greg Foshti's Holy Barnacle Nipples? Fuck Greg. Um, you could make. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was that part of the comment, no. or was that your assessment? No, it was mine, but, <laughs> okay. Uh, Lego police brutality. That's pretty. Funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you and, know what? Blue Lego, Lives Matter. And with the Black Panther movie, Lego's finally added some more like black characters. It's like you want to know how weird it is. Before the Black Panther sets, I'm pretty sure there was only one black female minifig like in existence from like a random obscure mm. Star Wars set. I'm pretty sure. Greg's nipples are made from red axles. <laughs> is there a <coughs> Discord server? There is a there is a Great Furnace Discord server. It's where I do my stuff. And someone said it's dead. And that's kind of true right now. And probably will be true forever. But I don't know. I might do stuff with it. Uh, kill me. I'm unprofessional. All right. So let's move on. All right. No one said anything of any kind of substance. We hate our fans. And let's move on to right. the next mini thing. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have fans. No, we don't. I don't know. Whatever. Lego Brick Girl. Uh, okay, once again, yeah, nice. Um, save this for like a Lego land set or something. Or if you're gonna, you've done the cactus person. That's the suit person for the wave. Do you need? Are they just? This wave is just full of suit people because they don't care anymore. They're they're just that's literally all the gimmick they have. Because they to make got, minifigs interesting. I guess they've done so many things, but there's got to be more stuff that they can do. Um, I guess I think there is, but they're probably, I mean, and they've done reissues too of like slight variants. They've done like girl versions of boy versions of certain like space things, certain cowboy things, all sorts of stuff. But this, this one, I don't think they cared. What about because I no, I'm not going to say that. Um, <laughs> then why not Martin Luther King minifig? Come on guys. That would actually be really cool. Um, uh, I guess maybe they have just run out of ideas. Just give us like a barnacle minifigure. Don't be. Don't, don't oh, be that crazy. would be cool. It's like no. a reissue of a Jala or something. Give us a Jala. <laughs> give us a Jala Mari oh. minifig. Stop being oh. stupid. You know what? Like, if they just did a Tahu, like a proper kind of Tahu. Oh, oh do this, or... right? Do a Tahu suit guy. And you know, like how the Hero Factory minifig heads ha just went over a minifig's head? Yeah. Cool. That would be so good. But they're not going to do it because Bionicle sucks and Bionicle will never come back. Rip. Uh, oh, you know what? Here's something we could talk about briefly. Um, that piece actually might be really useful if those studs are proper, which they probably are. You might actually be able to do interesting things with that piece. Hmm. Actually, if, if they haven't done that, biggest idiot move of all time. Yeah, yeah. Well, although they are holding a real stud, and it looks like it's the same dimension. It does look like so, a simple Yeah, so maybe. Speaking of creativity and how they've run out of ideas, let's move on to the next one. Literally just the recolor, except now he's got a blue one and he's red. 
Jesus Christ, that comment <laughs> from that person. That was the original. That is scary. Those hands, <laughs> a minifig should not have real hands. And, that is yeah, creepy. And not, <laughs> not only that, but the eye holes. <laughs> this is really awful, but the eye holes are reminiscent of I how really, your I eyes really, look through like a Klansman hat. <laughs> I really want to kick that person's son down the stairs like Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, not the original. He's not wearing red pants. This is inaccurate. Yep. Uh, he also doesn't have hair, so no, you don't get to make that claim, yeah. Anna Karuana Talbot. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Baldy Locks. <laughs> Baldy Locks, <laughs> disgusting. All right, the Lego brick suits guys' favorite thing to do is put Lego br sets one brick at a time, even at a party. <laughs> so basically, he sucks up parties. If he yeah, he must, the must parties, be, he just everyone shows up and there's this one Mongo in the corner playing. <laughs> <laughs> so like stands hey, on the side building, guys. Uh, speaking of which, let's go back to her. See what like a Rick suit girl was bringing her unlimited creativity. To the birthday they didn't even try with her bio. Oh wait a minute! <laughs> oh, was this like a birthday wave? Because birthday keeps coming coming up again and again. Yes, yes. I, as I said, fortieth year, forty years of the minifig. Um, oh, so okay. Fun. I thought you meant referring to the police guy, but then again, police guy's first wave. So, but yeah. Nice so I think right, that's right. what they're getting at, right? <clears throat> All right, so these both are ugly, but who knows? Maybe that seat will, maybe that piece will be useful. Probably not, but we'll see. Probably um, not. Ugh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Your reaction. Those. Okay, this is another thing with the, the balloons. Cool piece, whatever. But they're very specific, and I, the amount of times they don't even look like Lego. They no, they look like thing, legit actual that, balloons. But my yeah. thing is like there are so many parts you can think like oh, I wish they had a specific part for that, and they don't. But they have yeah. specific balloon animal parts. Wow. <sighs> not to mention, it's very clear that they just took the the freaking leprechaun. Not leprechaun. I want to say it was a uh, Mad Hatter minifig. Penguin had that as well. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, that yeah, the penguin probably has that. They just reprinted it, which is fine. You know, these things don't always have to be the most original as far as new molds. But this one, eh, not particularly inventive. Plus With his hat full of balloons and fun, the party clown is here to be wacky and whimsical life of the party. The thing is, even the face, I'm pretty sure there have been a few clowns earlier in these waves, and they've done like a more interesting job. The face is very boring. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think maybe that is intentional, though. It might be a throwback to an old, old clown face, but I don't know. Either way, it's not particularly inventive. And if we are doing throwbacks to less detail, why is there so much detail on the leg printing? Yeah. Um, um, the balloon, so once again, the balloon animals aren't bad in of themselves. It's just the idea that of all things they could have done. And, the and give two. Like, you could have just as well given him something else fun. Like, a, well, heck, they don't even have a normal Lego balloon, I don't think. A normal Lego balloon, oh, please. Yeah, please. You, have brick, you have to brick build one. Yeah. So they Which could have fine. done that. I'm, I'm of the idea that sometimes you don't need, like. Sure. I, I'm fine with that, too. You but know it's what, all, I'm, what, I, I find it kind of lazy that they have me. two of the same new mold. I'm just, gonna, I'm just an overly negative person, so I'm going to complain. But yeah. why does the microphone mold exist when you could just use a lightsaber hilt and a stud? I guess, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Except it is smaller and more compact. I guess uh, if you, I, I mean, think obviously it's nicer. It's like it's nicer because it's a real mold. But it's yeah. to me, it's just like it's Lego. You don't need it to, like that. A lightsaber hilt and a stud looks just fine as a microphone. I'm just being negative. Yeah. Like, why does you're that right though? It, it it isn't needed. How much would you? Oh wait, I'm sorry. The comments are gold. Mad Hatter from Batman. Yep. Wow. No one has said much. Never thought these minifigs would have bios. The only thing more disappointing than my son is Callan's content. That is true. All right. It's funny because we got like decent viewership. It's gone gone up to ten, but no one's really saying much. I guess we're they're just listening to what we're saying. Yeah. Lol. Mad. Ha oh, someone said lol. I'm glad you find it something we said funny that now it's too late to even know what you're talking about. I'm going to switch back to the Facebook page as opposed to the perpetual stream look of here. Whatever. Cool. All right, next next minifig. Clown sucks. We hate it. <laughs> okay. Next. Well, this is some furry pandering shit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cat costume girl is a friendly feline who just adores parties. She gets to climb on all of the furniture and make new friends. <laughs> Disgusting idiot. This is literally a furry. She like goes to the party. Hey, she's already making people cringe with her costume. And then she's climbing all over the furniture, acting like a ch <laughs> like acting yeah, very rude. This is just an innocent thing, and it's like not, but just the, the collar. I don't know. This is gross. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm trying to think if there's anything remotely interesting you can do with that dual colored or those dual That's what I was about to say as well. Maybe if you got, if you have the sad mime or something, you could have him have like ripped sleeves. Or, or if you're a disgusting Spider-Man fan and you don't care about the paw print necklace thing, you could just make a black cat minifig. Yeah. Daniel Yerkes said the same thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. I didn't even see that. I, I should probably read. I don't know. I did read this. This is gross. All right, whatever. Moving on. That one's lame. Use, I guess you could use the legs as like fur boots or something. I don't know. Yeah, sure. This this is... Okay, so the last one was furries. This one's bestiality. <laughs> My friend, do <laughs> um, you, you remember that um, that big event too I went to where I went dressed as Hannibal Lecter, right? Oh. Um, Vaguely, no. no. Okay, not really. <laughs> well, that was, that was an event that I did that at. That's My cool. friend wore this exact costume. Like an exact inflatable oh thing like this like uh, down you know what here's the thing though if it's inflatable it looks like a joke the yeah. fact that this looks like your normal lego horse i don't know there's something kind of creepy about it yeah <laughs> yeah obviously the one he wore was like stupid and goofy and inflatable looking but this yeah it's just solid in the plastic. world of lego minifigs this looks like a you just cut a real lego horse in half and mounted it on your stomach um yeah, I guess if Which they didn't have those straps around the neck, it would be especially weird. Yeah. I guess we can shout out the fact that he's got Keith's orange arms, which isn't a new thing, but it's just kind of neat that oh, they've, they've carried that on. They've carried on Keith's orange past Bionicle. So, eh, whatever. Um, Lee G2 had it. Um, yeah. Cowboy. Co oh, that is Bionicle, technically. Ugly. Um, yeah. But uh, nothing particularly interesting here. I guess the hat looks kind of fun. I, it's probably not even a new like mold. Said, the most interesting thing to me is this, this looks exactly like what my friend wore. Yeah. All right. Cowboy costume guy is a total goofball. After all, he did come to the party dressed up as a cowboy riding on a horse. I mean, riding around on a horse. He, he's, he's not riding a horse. You know. Okay, that was really a bad bestiality joke. It didn't yeah, even make any sense because you ride a horse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize for my outburst. I'm crazy about this guy. I love the design. I love Kirsty Chilton. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, technically, this counts as another suit guy almost. Oh, speaking of suit, yeah, guy, speaking of which, suit guy. Seriously, it's the whole wave. Who likes countdowns? The firework guy likes countdowns, no matter the theme of the occasion. Literally, the recurring theme is not that they're all wearing costumes, it's that they're all terrible people. My and thing, not people that you want to have a party with. I, I, never, I never thought Lego would release a suicide bomb on many <laughs> <laughs> did. Oh, uh, You know what? That would have been, a, to be fair, that's another thing they haven't done yet. They might as well. <laughs> Might as well, you know. <laughs> well, they represent other cultures. Literally, I don't think they have a Muslim minifig. Gosh, racist. racist. Well, they they well, it wouldn't be Muslim; it would be Sikh. But they do have the temp the the, the turban piece from. Right. Like, yeah, they do Tom have. Stuff. They do have um, Arabic kind of costumes from other themes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Bang, this guy. There's I don't I don't know what. To, there's nothing to say about this guy. It's not even that good of like, a mold. It just looks like no. Oh, like the the only thing I can think is that if you like having red minifig hands, he'll have red minifig hands. It looks like what that's when it. When I see this, what I would do is I would get four of these guys and build like a bounce house. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Actually, that is a good idea. But you, I feel like even then you'd kind of have to. I guess the bang isn't too distracting. Uh. But be uh, without it, but, it yeah. would be better without it. But yeah, that is actually a clever idea. I didn't think of that. Someone is going to do that now, and they're going to steal your idea. Really? How do you make... Well, um, also, can we talk about that guy who has like four names? Oliver James Lewis Sparkles. Oh, gross. Marks. I bet this will be your all-time favorite minifigure. Oh, he got you, someone. Nick Giles. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nick Giles is going to be a suicide he's, bomber. He's Seriously. We, we, hey, and here's the thing. We've just learned the importance of reporting people who say things on, on social media. So uh, we got to get, we got to call the FBI about this. Nick funny, Giles guy. I'm, I'm going to Birmingham tomorrow. I'm, mm. I'm with that guy. Maybe I'll go meet. Nick oh yeah. Giles. Yeah. Go meet him. <laughs> go hang out with Nick Giles. Man, that's just the skinniest legs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wait. Oh, are you still, oh, wait, uh, oh, wow. Dang. You're better. <laughs> 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 Look 
<laughs> he's got like he's got Look like fucking dude. stick man legs. Look at his legs. <laughs> uh, some random guy. <laughs> it's funny, you know. It's you know it's a bad mini thing when we're getting more fun in making fun of the people commenting on it than freaking the mini thing itself. When Nick John uh, watching right now, very yeah. Upset. I think it's safe to say I will not be purchasing this. Uh, um, okay. Jesus Christ. Speaking of freeze. Jesus Christ. Even the, the horse face looks depressed. It does. <laughs> it's like, why am I in costume? Also, uh, the ginger while doing this. Oh, yeah, he is a ginger. This is going to be Mason Brown's costume. <laughs> next, at his next Swords. cosplay. Saws, wizards, goblins, glitter. The unicorn guy is bringing an epic quest. Like, if this guy showed up at a party, everyone would leave. Like, no one would want to be around <laughs> this person. <laughs> Seriously, especially when you see him like swinging around a sword and that disgusting shield, he'd be like, "Hey, can you hold the shield while I go grab uh, grab a beer?" I think it's, uh, it's one thing to have like okay, cool like knights kind of like regal horse based shield, but they made that horse look really gimpy. Oh yeah, Ugh. nothing. There's nothing. This one is even worse than the last one, I think. Yeah. Um, Maybe I. You know what? I take it back. I feel like if you take that head, you do something really disgusting with that headpiece. Like it will, it'll just look like this disgusting thing going like wah with its mouth wide they open. At least like a neck beard minifig or like a pretty really ugly. Be they should. You should put the Luke, the new Luke minifig face in this suit and make it more accurate. Oh, there you go. That would be funny. Oh, gross. And um, I guess maybe if you really like unicorn pieces, the gold unicorn head will be. Oh uh, yeah, I really wanted to change the feet on my creature of stone to gold to match. Blue hands, more. I guess. Blue hands. I don't Who's know. dark blue? The dark. That's the blue. thing. They look like dark blue. That would be even. I think that's there are already dark blue hands, but that's yeah. the best bit about it. The dark blue hands. If they're dark blue, they might just be normal blue, and it looks different. It looks just kind of middling. I'm going to wager that they're normal blue and that this is not a good minifig at all and that no one should ever want to buy this. And okay. if anyone gets this in one of their mystery packs, that they're just yeah. going to throw it in the trash can. It's fucking bad for spending money on this piece of shit. David Crowell is right. It's a brony. Yeah, yeah. basically. Let's let's take a look at him and make fun of him as well. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's see, is uh, that a beard? <laughs> no, he's just got really ugly edits as his oh, banner. He probably can't sure. a beard. What a bitch. It's anyway, disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gross! Oh, awful! I hate it. I didn't even oh. see this one yet. Oh, so it looks like the um, uh, no, that black canary mini fig they released recently. Um, oh, face. Oh yeah, this would be good for her screaming. Yeah. Also, once again, back to the microphone piece. There is a perfectly good Lego mouse that exists. Why did they create this? Because it's cartoony, I guess. I don't know. I, the only thing I can give it is that it looks kind of like a cute cartoony mouse. That's all I can give. But this looks like Duplo. It yeah. literally looks like a Duplo look. And do we really need that? I, the I the old minifigure just and make it look like a screaming elephant. Uh. <laughs> like if you put the old Stormtrooper heads, which were black, in the mouth, you just have a... Yeah. Oh my gosh. In fact, no, there's a previous wave of these crappy sets with like a killer whale. Or was it the Batman set? There's a killer whale thing, and it, and then the head print is literally just the inside of a mouth. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think so. You get uh, that, put that with this. <laughs> gross. Uh, the, so, like, the, the, the chest making, design, the, the, like, it's literally just an egg on I was the making chest printing. The mouse, but then all the comments are like, I love this mouse. Yeah, <laughs> I want that mouse. Such a cutie. Let's make fun of this person too. <laughs> well, that uh, was a post from earlier, Kirsty Chilton, who said, "Oh probably, yeah, she's come. She made the rounds." <laughs> I can't remember uh, what she said, but uh, said something. There's nothing. Uh, just costumes. It's all this is costumes. Okay, Elephant Girl has been waiting all year to dance in her costume at the big party, and nothing's going to keep her from having fun. Not even, yeah, really, not even that mouse. Really? Not even that mouse. That mouse is doing a lot to make her... And not only that, but it looks like, the f judging by her face, it is stopping her from having fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's also, so another thing, once again, best bit about this minifig to me would be getting light gray hands. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a bunch of those, to be honest. Yeah, you're right. No, that is the best thing. Ugh, gosh. They, and pink tutu. And you want that piece? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to build, like, a, a CCBS-scale William Shakespeare, and I need it for the neck ruffles. Oh. You know what? You could do that, and that'd be ugly. <laughs> All right, whatever. 
kid. Actually, that balloon is cool. I, oh, I like that. We were talking about not having a mold. Well, there we go. We got a mold. Yeah, now. there was one. They were just saving it for this kid. Okay. And I like the fact that it's got like that technique. <laughs> oh, no, oh. never mind. I was projecting too much. I like the idea that it was like it was connected by the tip of those old radar kind of pole things. That's what you know I thought, but, but I don't think that would work. I don't think that connection point can work. Not would It wouldn't work like that, no. And I guess that's what they wanted. Yeah, but to be, be fair, I think it would work caption. just as well, if not caption. better, because you could make it wiggle in the hand. I'm going to read the caption. The local pedophile is excited to see the youngest guest at the party. In fact, she's brand new. <laughs> Hello? Hey guys, I don't even know if the stream is still going, but uh... What happened? But something went wrong. Oh boy. Caleb, can you hear me? Um, I, my computer is frozen. I don't even know if you can see this or not. Caleb, can you so, hear me? Uh, I don't even know if I can quit the live thing from here. Yeah, the Caleb. computer just died. Caleb. It actually just killed itself. Caleb. Oh boy. So, my connection... I don't even know if uh I might be carrying on. the stream right now. I can't tell. I can hear Caleb. Oh uh, yes, are you still there? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, hey. Uh I think the stream might have gone down. Can you check on it? On my end it still says live. Okay. Wait, are people still here? Let me take a look. It says it's still live. Let me see if the comments are saying anything or what they can hear. Also, you missed you missed my great pedophile joke. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. It does say live on the phone, yeah. Um, yeah but now it looks like it's still live. It, it looked like the only thing that happened was I couldn't hear you. Right. Yeah. Um, well, now I'm on the phone. That's the thing. My computer just killed itself. I'm trying to load the chat, but I don't know if it's just my phone being slow hmm. or it's not coming up. the The point is the page on the computer where that is like the source of it being live, that's got to be gone, right? But it looks like it's still showing up here. Maybe it's like old school Skype calls. Oh, no. I think everyone's saying it's live. Finally. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I can't, move, I can't move on to the next minifig. Uh, I don't All know. All right, guys. I'm... Well, since we're still live, technical difficulties, and at least someone heard my pedo joke. Good. Um, <laughs> I did it. Would you like to repeat it for me? No, I, I was know. reading the great caption. I need to see the caption again for the for the um for the thing. So what's happening? Are you just rebooting your laptop now or what? Yeah. Um I guess it's a good thing I had this first. otherwise the whole stream would be dead. Um anyway, this is all a right, so time. while while we're fixing stuff, ask us some questions, comments, people. Yeah, and maybe I'll start building a lanky band. I'm man. a grown man. You're a child. <laughs> Think about, Dude, think about that, that for a while. A while. <laughs> Disgusting idiot. I love that song. Okay, I got a leg so far. I'm good at mocking, dude. You just called mash or trash. Thank God I rap better when I'm smoking hash. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that leg. I'm going to do... I don't have silver legs because I didn't you get... Now enough of... Oh, no, a misty cockles. But I do have him now. Um, oh, but he's, he's, but he's built. Yeah, now. Ow. Here. Look, actually, I'm going to do the... Actually, I'm gonna do, them, check it out. I'm going to do the revolutionary uh, idea for Tahu's leg armor for a lanky man. Oh, Whoa. dude. Oh, dude. Oh. oh. Whoa. Whoa. Exciting Whoa. stuff. Also, I re also realized that my mic, time. since now it's coming from uh, this thing, it's now anyway. a lot worse. To... Two ideas. What are your thoughts on the modern molds of Stormtrooper minifigs? Um, hmm. I want to say the helmets haven't even changed that much. Also, but... I think the live has stopped. Wait. What? Google Hangouts just threw up something that said, the Great Furnace is no longer presenting. Oh, but wait. But it's still are live. We... I still see oh. live in the corner. Okay, so we're still... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to try and rejoin on my computer now that it's restarted. Anyway, um, the Stormtrooper minifigs, um, I think as far as I can see, the molds have changed slightly, but they aren't so bad just because 
stormtroopers are kind of a very minimalist design to begin with, so it's kind of hard to overdo them. Yeah, so, but to be fair, they, that was freaking Darth Vader until they ruined so him. So unless I'm missing something major, I think they're they're okay. I mean, I don't have any problems with modern stormtroopers. Yeah, no, I want to say that stormtroopers haven't gotten too bad. Although they do have lots of printing on them now, and now of course Lego changes on every time to make, or well, not Lego, Star Wars itself has new versions of stormtroopers so they can sell more toys. Mm. Remember, remember in the Last Jedi, there was a stormtrooper with a half black, half white helmet on the top of its head. Oh, dude, wasn't was that a, a really? It was a stormtrooper executioner or something. Also, yeah. how they made CTPO's arm red so they could make it toys, and then they. Didn't even mention why it got fixed. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Oh, and what's funny is that J.J. Well, Abrams is so stupid. Um, he does that in the film itself, where at the very the final shot of the of the four seconds, he has the gold arm, and it's like, why, why, why? It was so pointless. Like, okay, yeah. fair enough. You want to show that times have changed. Why in the heck would you just switch back? At the end, are you guys really that afraid of changing something that you're like, oh, well, we're going to change it to be like, oh, time's passed. But then time hasn't passed so much that they can't just replace it. Why didn't they replace it earlier then? I know. It's so dumb. It's like this entire time you didn't do it. The second done it. Also, some yeah. of those, what, what is Oni up to nowadays? Is he still looking at Lanu's content? Um, Oni is sitting there stewing, looking at Lanu's content from a distance like... You motherfucker stole my cartoon idea. That's what Oni's doing. Um, Are you talking about Onipex as a character? Yeah. Um, also, another question was targeted to me, or not question. I never did get that Exo Force Sentai. Oh, the Fortress set. Oh, that set is awesome. Oh, that which set one? Is a, the the Exo Force. I, I assume oh, it's the big, yeah, the big the base. Big fortress. That one's amazing. Oh. And plus, it like it comes with like a a blue variant. Well it's, it's, well, it's not variant. It's just a, a different full size blue, like canister sized mech for. Uh, what's his name? Hit, Hikaru? Um, I think so. If that's the main uh, blue one, that's. Yeah, him. what's funny is I know all of their names except him. <laughs> his, his, his one was. Um, wait, wait. What's the redhead who's pointless? What's his name? Uh, Hayato. Hayato, I don't, that's. I don't it. know why yeah. I know him more than Hikaru. Ryu, but, um, Takeshi, or the other two? Yeah. And there was the no-name black-haired guy who was like a backup Ryu. Yeah. Um, who's my favorite Paraka? Thok is my favorite Paraka. Nice. Uh, actually, there was a comic explaining how he got the red arm. There was a comic explaining why... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I actually knew about this. There's a comic that explains that he was on some big adventure backstory and some evil Sith droid ended up becoming a good droid and ended up sacrificing itself so C-3PO could escape. Um, Basically, yeah. it was done for money and they're just explaining it anyway. Also, yeah. I like how the Tectrical boss is studying um, Crotchfire's ass. Okay, cool. Hey, the stream went on. I'm back. Ta-da! All right. Cool. Now I'm going to switch back audios and... So that I can. You're sing. a grown man. I'm a child. I should really stop burping. What's my favorite Star Wars character? I guess more like Be Gone Thok. You. Thok. Mm. Your mic is either mute or super quiet, Caleb. Hello. 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 You're you're quiet. Yeah, I was trying to switch back. Um, oh, come on. So this is really quiet. Oh no, it's a bit better now. Okay, cool. Oh, and we have thirteen viewers. Yeah. Still on the quieter side though. I feel like you were louder before. Uh, you want me to just switch back and use the iPhone audio? You think it'll matter? Um, someone asked, what do you think of the TLJ, I assume the Last Jedi sets? Uh, I, to be honest, I'm not too... I, I haven't paid enough attention. I know there was that really bad reissue of the AT, um, whatever the walker is called, that is like the damaged one, which is 
just the old set except with parts missing. Um, the CTBS sets of them were. I mean, I bought Ray. That's the only one I've bought, and that was just for my Rakshi mark. Um, so I couldn't probably oh. give you a good answer to that just because I haven't looked in at the wave hard enough. Yeah. Hey, Dre, what up? Can I get a smell? <laughs> smell, yeah. All right. Um, let's move back, I think. I think all my tabs are back. I think. So... Let me. Uh, that was such a weird thing. I thought that would have killed everything, but thankfully it didn't. So we it's, can go I think on it's being the old, losers. School, it's the old school Skype calls where someone leaves and it kind of passes on ownership. Yeah, they kept that going. Sweet. Which is good. All right. Now I just got to freaking wait for all my computer applications to restart themselves. Also, Bionicle hey. the One Madness. Is your profile picture just a Matao head flipped? It's a good question. But I, I cannot answer because I cannot see this. I can't answer. Me I can't go for that. Force Awakens waves, one sets except Poe's X-Wing. It must have been expensive. I guess if it's both you and your friend. Uh, is the friend a grown man or a child? <laughs> I'd have to sit, in there, sit down and think about that for a while. <laughs> uh, good idea. Good, good idea. Oh. All right. Um. I'm Andrew, All right. Andrew said Mira says hello. Hello there. Come on, screen share. Where why isn't the screen share? No, I don't want to open the cameraman stuff. I They're want a screen same. share. So together you're twenty eight. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling twenty two. I'm not actually twenty two. <laughs> why oh, yeah. did I say that? You are? Yeah. Oh, maybe I wonder if I do I even how is the stream working now? Because am I even the host? No, I am the host because I can stop the broadcast from here. You're the but host why can't I screen host. share? Oh, the host with the most asshole. Oh, I guess we're not supposed to swear. Swearing and pooping is just... fun. Anyway, it's... someone says, do you watch your any do you watch your sub uh, do you watch any of your subscribers? I can't speak. Do you do any of you watch? Do God, I can't speak. Do any of you guys watch your subscribers' videos? Um, uh, in general, to, no. To be honest, I don't really watch Bionicle videos really anymore, just because it ruined my life. So fuck it. Yeah. Um. There's really not much. Around as much because okay, especially in terms of bionicle video. Subscribe to one of my subscribers back in the day, and they put some and they release a video, and it appears in my subscriptions. I'll watch it, but I'm not really finding new channels or anything like that. So, no. Right. And my channel is dead. Dead as a doorknob. Yeah. Uh, was it dead as a doorstop? I don't know what the phrase. Is. No, it doornail. Doornail. I don't know why it's doornail, but it is doornail. It's pretty smelly. Um, hey, Callan, can you change the Great Furnace's profile picture to Jenkins? Oh, um, yeah. I said I was going to do that. You know what? I said I acted all fun on uh, like I was going to do that for the meme because that is the fun thing to do. But guess what? I've had too much experience with how terrible Google uh, Google no, yeah, Google is with their freaking thumbnail policy on YouTube channels. It always takes way too long to update, and I feel like any enjoyment I would have gotten out of making a meme. Out yeah, of that. it's like the only website that is like so annoying with size requirements. Just to make a profile picture is a pain in the ass. It's so dumb. So yeah, um, I I apologize for reneging on my promise, but uh, I am reneging. No, I will not make Jenkins. <laughs> 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 I apologize. Uh, I really should have stuck to my. Uh, I should have stuck to my agreement, but I am. I am backing out. I'm backing out from this deal. Oh no! Are you reneging? Uh, what? Okay. Um, Monocle Madness is self mock gets depressed because in story his friend dies. What? Okay, we're back. Okay. 
Let's, so, uh, so here's all right. So let's let's do, let me. Let's uh, do you got to get. You got to go back to the girl so I can tell my joke again. Okay, we will. This is so first, dumb and pointless. Let, first, let's uh, let's make, let's have our final, let's have final reviews. If we were given this, for okay, let's let's make this fair because none of us are ever gonna pay three dollars, four dollars, five dollars for a minifig. They said one dollar, and you would get this minifig. Would you take it? Um, yes. Or I guess, uh, granted, we would probably take them all, but like yeah. I guess. <laughs> For one dollar, just because I don't buy that many sets, so most of these parts would be new to me anyway. So yeah, let's just say Basically, yes okay. or no. <clears throat> no, we'll just go through the ones and just say the first word that comes to our mind every time when we see. All them. right, all right, pointless for this one. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh wait, they're switching around. Oh, what the heck? What? Ugh. They're di- they're Whoa. in a different. Oh, come on! What the, God, the order is? This thing is gross. I never want to see that again. <laughs> We're gonna see it again. I'm sorry. Wait, maybe what you. The heck? Maybe Why you is the down... order switched? Maybe you went in the wrong direction. Uh, like, arrow, we're, we're hitting the arrow. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're in the proper order. Okay. So pointless and crap. Yeah, we got it. Um, this one. Yeah. Shit. Lame. Shit. <laughs> Ugly. Shit. I'm revolting. Shit. Oh, actually, <laughs> Anna, Anna Talbot's son. <laughs> A disgusting child. <laughs> uh, um. Shit. Oh, creepy. Because clowns are creepy. I don't know. Shit. Furry, monstrous, disgusting. Ah, I can't do one word. Uh, uh, bestiality. Shit. Um, uh, rape. <laughs> Nick Giles. <laughs> Nick Giles. <laughs> um, uh, offensive is my word for this one. Shit. Um, uh, d- uh, saddening is going to be my word for this one. I want that mouse. Such a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> That's your word? Yep. All right. Um, there present. we go. Okay. Now I can read the caption. This is so- <laughs> all right. Please do. The local pedophile is excited to 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 meet the youngest guest at the party. In fact, she's brand new. Not worth it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth ugly. it. Ugly. So ugly. Yeah. Uh, oh man. And you know what? The fact that they that freaking. Uh, paper bow is like just printed on. That looks so bad. That's the only angle that that could look remotely like how it's supposed to. to kind of looks like a futuristic sea mine. Yeah. And yeah, got a hat. What, what, is, what is on this minifig that you couldn't just make? It's like nothing's interesting. It's like such a generic kid body. Yeah. I don't know. The, yeah, not good. Also, there's it. nothing else they could do, but the string being a bar, it's just too thick. It looks gross. Yeah, and they did it for this one, too. This is basically the same I, thing. I hate this. Why is that child dressed like a hipster? It's weird. And he's got a Lego minifigs. Minifig. Like, he, looks like Dude, a, this... he looks like a gay hipster. It's weird. Yeah, and I think that's the point. I think children these days dress like gay hipsters. That is what Lego is implying. Looks just like my younger brother. See? Kids dress like gay hipsters. It's like a gay hipster. <laughs> <coughs> oh, and that's the minifig series one picture. That's kind of cute, I guess. But it is a mini. Uh, they've got minifig seat. Uh, a plate, which is amusing idea, but this is really bad. The present is awful in the printing. You, this one's just as bad. Feet, they have the same feet printing as they were giving for hooves on the other ones. So is he a horse? Yeah, I don't know. I think they're supposed to be sneaker bottoms. Well, it looks it looks shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Bad. Um, oh, well, we didn't read his bio. I'm sorry. The birthday uh, oh. party boy is thrilled to join the celebration and can't wait to see all his favorite minifigs. One thing I will say is, then for the next minifig, I'm pretty sure the dragon design they used is based on the dragon they released in one of those castle reboots. Yeah, I think that's from a Viking set. No, maybe not, not Vikings. Vikings. Not from Vikings. It's from one of the. It was from a castle reboot that came out after Vikings. 
Yeah, no, it does look like that. I know it's, for it's, five, it, just I, because... I kind of wish they stuck with the eye. <coughs> if they made the eye right, it would have been at 100% correct. Yeah, just because uh, I know it's definitely not Vikings, because weirdly I followed Vikings religiously, just because it had a lot of bionicle parts. <laughs> Vikings is great. Um, only because of the bionicle parts, but yeah. And it, it, it was cute. It was a oh, good I like, I like my, good friend, my good friend Kai Grieb is that... <laughs> I know someone's <laughs> going to get one of these and find a plain black minifig head to substitute, like people hey, did with the lizard suit guy. Wow! Wow! I I came up with that idea before. What an oh. imaginative! What it's that was so worth sharing. Go! I, I was. I grieb. How dare you? <laughs> uh, um, it's just another suit minifig. It's kind of a cute it guy. This is probably more, most bang for your buck as far as getting pieces that are add-ons to a single minifig yeah you get and, a tail wings and helmet. and it's one of the suit guys that i'm actually like this is kind of sort of cool it's like i don't i don't yeah. feel, i don't feel repulsed looking at this yeah you know you could you at the very least you can just have a little fun um you know uh just have a chasing minifig dragon uh, or something you could do fun things with it that's all i'm giving it so this is probably the least bad one we've seen so far yep uh no, nope, nope, no. <laughs> nope. The they, flower no. pot girl decided to bring the colors and beauty of a garden to nope. the anniversary let's, let's, festivities. Let's skip this one. Yep. Uh, okay. That one is just uh. <laughs> oh sweet, we got a we got a we got a NASCAR race here. <laughs> we 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 have one minifig promote bestiality. Now we're promoting mechanic rape. This is, I'm just imagining some like NASCAR guy who's like, the South will rise again. Yeah. Uh, you know what? This is not the worst one or anywhere close because at least you can actually use that little car for something and have it race. And not only that, but the suit itself, that's actually a good racing suit. Like, that's a good print. And yeah. Everything. The print's good. This guy is not as bad. But this is probably he's also ugly. maybe the best one actually so far. The best one? You think it's better than Dragon? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's di- it's different from yeah. the dragon. This one, I don't know. Yeah, my, maybe this one's the best. I don't know. In terms of like just know. a nice minifig, and you've got the soul patch. You could. Uh, yeah, I got David's minifig. Yeah, it does look like <laughs> David. Ugly. Uh, anyway. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Ugh. All Back right. to being repulsed. <laughs> He's got spider backpack, a spider head, a disgusting face print. I will. Okay, I will say this. I'm happy they're using the classic spider mold again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they stuck to one, that. Was well, another one where I'm like, why does this new one exist? Oh, there is a new one? Ugly. I didn't even know about that. Ugh. Yeah, they've been using a new one recently, but this is the classic one. The yeah. thing is, it's less, the, this one has the clip for the mouth. The new one, I thought, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't have a clip, so it has less usability. Yeah, the fact that it has a clip on them as like the head is a fun thing. You can actually do things with it. You can have it but attached to things. You can the way the eyes look. It looks like the spider from Billy and Mandy, the head mold. If you recolored it. Oh, oh, uh-huh. interesting. And if you look at it, you can see actually he's wearing a hoodie. Maybe you could yeah, use that as like a casual Peter Parker like thing. Or something. I don't yeah, know. you know what? I could just I could see some dummy doing like a Eddie Brock jacket or something for like and just. Our good friend Kai Grebe is back. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's so relating to the ch- creepy children in the costume. Oh, uh, good old who? Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a Wisconsinite. Oh, uh, ugly. <clears throat> so he's not oh, really into boy. parties. So why is he coming? <laughs> but he loves any chance to surprise or even scare. He looks too what? shy to scare yeah, anybody. He, he looks like he's been scared. What? That don't make any sense. Who wrote these bios? They're not even looking at the face and what the face looks like. Yeah. Also, wait a second. Kennedy, yeah, he did looks I like make a no- sure. Okay, I did. Cool. I did make sure that that's the main screen. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. That, uh, people were actually seeing that. What we're yeah. He looking. does not look threatening in any way. He looks like he's the one being frightened. And is that it? We ended yeah, that's it. Guy. Dang it. I wanted to repulse. I wanted to just cry at more of these. What That's weird, all of them. What a weird selection! It doesn't even feel like complete. It's just. And yeah, you'd think like have more throwbacks like this one if that's what you're really going to emphasize. Why is this the only throwback? And the thing is, if if they've run out of ideas, 
do what they were doing for a bit with the Disney and the Simpsons. Do theme se- sex like theme waves. Just do that. Yeah, I do have to say it is pretty cool that Lego is promoting this glass bottle thing. Oh, it's so heavily. Yeah, it's it's their banner on Facebook. That's They're nice. very responsive to messages, Caleb. You should message them. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> let's <laughs> message them. Um, you know what? I think let's. Uh, I will. I will update. Just whatever, uh, if they respond, uh, get started. Okay, what are we saying? Hi there, I'm Ralph. Oh God. Uh, oh, gosh. First of all, where are you ordering from? Oh, Composer is disabled for this thread. What? Oh, I got it. Oh, I see. You got to pick a country. Oh. So you can yeah. only do. So basically, this bot can only talk to people from the UK, America, or Canada. How old is the Go building for question? One. Go for one. <laughs> okay. I Gosh. wonder what I'll be able to build at that age. Now let's talk go, budget. Go 50 plus. 50 plus. Okay. <laughs> no, my oh. goal is just imagine what you can do. Throw it in the mug. Prick. <laughs> let's find out more. Which of these best describes builder? Um, oh, yeah. One year old is really into city planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Same with a giant Ninjago ship. <laughs> I guess they just don't have many fifty dollar plus sets for one year olds. Heroism. Wait, what other categories uh, do they have? I oh, don't really let's, know. Let's let gift bot choose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inspiration mode enabled. I'm gonna choose my favorite Lego products from the different categories. That sound good to you? Um hmm. Well, sure. I'm getting ideas now. All right. I hate this. This is really lame. Ta-da, how about these? I was hoping we could just fuck with someone. I know! What the heck? I want. I wanted to just be like, hey, I really don't like these minifigs. What can you do about this? <laughs> uh, I guess I guess that's a, a reasonable suggestion. $50 Duplo set. Oh, yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, well, I mean, well, it's reasonable. Well, price-wise, no, but in terms no, of... No, like, no, no, yeah, yeah. It's reasonable for what he came up with. Okay, yeah. Duplo, like, normal Lego is expensive, but Duplo is charged out the ass. Uh, you can get like a set bot like 10 bucks like it's literally just a bot get help oh I actually have to actually send a real that's probably smart really that you can't mess around with their, someone on their chat but it's this bot is not I don't think this this page is conducive for like all the pop ups there was way too much I couldn't even read everything he was saying for each message when and before it generated something yeah uh, so it wasn't conducive I don't even think I could scroll back up Mm. that's really bad oh i can okay i can't scroll up okay never mind um still i didn't like this lego this automated system was probably smart but i don't think it's conducive for pleasing a customer um well i want them all i mean oh no worries this is a judgment-free zone lego approved of gary's story being a disgusting idiot don't worry <laughs> Your autistic illusions are fine here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, impressive. The series is on a whole I'm not, new I'm level. not insulting people. That's, that's just a joke, people. All right. <laughs> oh. Look, man. Everything should be taken very seriously. We can't joke about oh, things. Stop it. I'm going to have to jack off to that. Later. Thanks. We had to take things up for not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Why is the Viking <laughs> lady, too? Why is she blowing kisses? This is awesome. One of the best loving things that's over. Cat one is the best. Ugh. I will be buying the whole set as soon as it comes out. And then giving a smooch. Thanks for supporting us, making us be able to make more of these trash things. <laughs> celebrate <idea>. with like <laughs> bad concepts. I'm gonna make I'm gonna do re- react angrily to this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are some creative Ugly. minifigs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Our designers got really creative. No, they you just, did. You should, make, you should react angrily to that as well. <laughs> I'm gonna get him mad. He's gonna reply. What is your problem? <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh man. Okay, you know, I'm done yeah. making faces at Lego people who like yeah, Lego. Let's, uh, let's respond to some comments. Let's see what people are saying. Yeah. Let's go back to the endless avoid. Oh yeah, the, I guess the stream died, of course, on this end. So eh. Be, be gone, Thok. They quoted you. Uh 
asks not someone Anna. asked if uh ooh, that boy looks like a trap poop it's a nerd figure we know the majority of these figures are shit true that damn balloon poop he has frosted tips goddamn what is that reception is jojo gay hipster uh, I can't believe the Slenderman movie has Lego. Oh, does it? Oh, I assume it's the spider thing. It's interesting. Lego actually responds to people's comments. They, they because the make... spider thing had the weird tentacle backpack thing. People could well, use that for Slenderman minifigs. Also, keep in mind that when you say Lego responds to people's comments, you mean like freaking interns who run their social media oh, respond? You mean BrickBot responds? Yeah, well, not only that, but there are people. I'm assuming a person actually comments in reply to people's messages. Yeah. On Facebook posts, and it's some intern who's some nerd. Twenty. He's probably like me, except he's all got to be like overly that, positive. Probably that hipster gay kid. It's probably the same person who shared the freaking biological porn on Twitter. Like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What was the response from Lego again? They were just uh, like, thanks. <laughs> While it was like fucking gross. <laughs> drawing of dicks jacking off on a bionicle. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, all right. Well, since uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how much longer we'll go. But we, there, there, there many things. I want to say there was something else I wanted to talk about um, earlier that we can just do while I build nothing. Um, I got to build this tall, lanky man. Uh so call nine. somebody call nine. My one, private one. suicide. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, we so got what, it. Last what happened? Oh, would you check out check out this hottie? Excuse me, somebody asked what happened to Toa Jube. Oh, Toa Jube was immediately taken apart because he's a disgusting throw together piece of garbage. Thank Unlo- God. Even though this ugly mock was not immediately thrown apart, um, the swamp fire lady mock. You have an insanely jacked back, huh? Like oh yeah, she, she jacked back. Yeah, she's she's got really she she kept her back worked out. She's uh, got a jack jack. I just I can't keep feeding him cookies. <laughs> Gross. Oh, the way you delivered that, it actually works in, all right in the trailer, but it sounds like. Something that just as well could be said on some disgusting uh, cartoon show that is just awful. I can't keep giving it cookies. I love uh, the way he looks there. Like, oh my gosh. Awesome. The way Frozone is animated. He, for some reason, his animation looks awesome as well. I know. Frozone looks great, even though he looks a little different. He looks um, very shiny. <laughs> yeah. I am very hopeful that the movie will be good. I just, uh, but who knows? Someone else with a Han Solo trailer. Uh, the trailer looked like shit. The movie looks like shit. That movie's you that know, movie's like a okay, they did it. I I will only say that they did a decent job hiding that how disgusting that movie looks behind the scenes, especially since now they've got the internet united against how uh, united in oh they should have made this the Lando spinoff movie. You know what? Why does everyone love Donald Glover so much? He's a talented guy, but I'm getting really sick of it. Um, I agree. Um. I like Childish Gambino. He's fine, but it's just he's hero worshipped a lot, and I'm like, yeah, calm down. <laughs> also, it's so but yeah, but the, but the plot still stands. I mean, that aside, a Lando movie would be more interesting than a Han Solo solo movie. It's true, and you're not wrong about that. But at the same time, like, I don't think his casting is necessarily amazing either. Like, you know what? Who are you going to get to play Lando? It's Might as well dumb. do gimmick casting. Stop it, huh? Stop. Okay, just end Star Wars. Like, Last Jedi was divisive, right? People either yep. loved it or hated it. So, and but a lot of and the people who hate it really hate it. So yeah. it just needs one more episode. Nine has to be really bad. It just needs to kill. Stop it. End it. Yeah, because that's the annoying thing. As much as I want this to suck, and it will, uh, it's not gonna break Star Wars fans. It's um, like Rogue One. It's like because it's a spinoff, people are gonna give it a pass. But here's the thing: unlike Rogue One, where at the very least people are gonna be like, the characters were lame. Well, you know, it, we that's not what the movie was about. And the th- main thing that they can fall back on is that, yeah, the characters suck in that movie. But we didn't know any of them before that movie, so they had the right to suck. They're just new that's characters. That's no excuse. It's the original, any movie, every movie, 
you watch on a new franchise, you don't know the characters and you still like them if it's a good movie. That doesn't even make any sense. I know, I know, I know. And you know that and I know that. But at the very least, the backup for that argument could be, well, it's not like they're ruining anything by making these characters suck, you know? Because Darth yeah. Vader was basically Darth Vader in that movie. And all Tarkin was basically Tarkin, even though he looked like a disgusting CGI mongrel. Um, so basically, they didn't ruin Star Wars fan nerd perception. But this movie will. Freaking also, like, Han Solo I, is going to suck. I just need He's to going to comment. suck. Just look, and, listen at his attempts at being like the whimsical kind of cool guy in the trailer already. You can tell that that's not who this actor is. And the yet guy, they just... The guy's a joke. Also, I need to just comment. <laughs> Vent Light brought up the fact one of the head animators for Pixar got in trouble with women. Not one of the head. The head. The figurehead yeah, of Pixar. Lasseter. John Lasseter himself. <laughs> John Lasseter himself is going... Is uh, He's taking a vacation from Pixar. <laughs> He's going to Hawaii to molest Hawaii Hawaiian women. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build my tall lanky person, but because I'm really lazy, I'm going to steal the head from hot woman. Why don't from you lanky, use lanky the... babe? Let's see. What, what does this comment say? I agree. I was really skeptical of the trailer. Steamed Callens. Oh, I got a, uh, I got loads of likes on Facebook on a random comment. Nice. What was the comment? Or, or was it relating to anything that we can talk about here? Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the steamed hams thing from The Simpsons, but I'm not. Oh, is, I see. I saw something meme about, about that. About Isn't it become a kind of a meme recently? It, the thing is, it was one of those things where it was a, mu- a mild meme for a while, and then suddenly it's blown up as a bigger meme. Oh, huh. interesting. Interesting stuff. But yeah, um, uh, uh okay i'm getting really sick of building this lanky man i'm gonna i'm gonna bail out on him in any minute uh because the lanky man was never gonna be a good mock i think I that's a fact well i don't have like a webcam to point away from me yeah gay yeah, dude <clears throat> Ugh. you know you got it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where are you going but doing 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 what am i doing all right, whatever. This is the lanky mock that you get. Hillary Duff is not quite old enough, so I don't ever see a bot like that. What? Whew. what do you think of this tall lanky mock, IDS? It's all right. The one thing, though, I do like, well, not particularly with that mock, is but I don't know why people haven't used that body piece as like part of the oh, lower torso look. of a custom mock before. The part of the lower torso? You know, uh, the robot body as the clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. People don't do that much. May, you really could do something with it, but I didn't hear. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I didn't even commit. Uh, at the very least, I was able to make the first, uh, the bird mock okay with the first one. This time, I didn't even try. To be fair, I was carrying over a bad idea from the next last one. Sorry, guys. Lanky Man mock was not the best idea. Um... I don't know. What else are people saying? With the Rogue One, movie was predictable, so I knew they were all going to die. Yeah, it sounds like they weren't necessarily going to die, though, in the original draft of the movie. I think someone along the lines was like, well, they have to die because Star Wars is going to make it more impacting by the end of it. I've, it's been a while since I've mocked. Thank you, Bronco Boy. <laughs> yeah, that's an ugly... <laughs> BFM Bronco Boy. Well, and that means a lot to us. Broncos. We love Broncos here. <laughs> uh, we're going to be a Bronco boy. The Solo movie will not shoot first. It looks the like Solo movie Cal- will not shoot first. It looks that like is getting ready to be serviced by the woman. Oh, no. You're right. Ah, That's awful. But it's true. That's just the way it worked out. And Devrody is the pimp. <laughs> Devrody's like, you can look, but you can't touch. Yeah, if, if if some of you didn't know, uh, Devroni is the boss character. Uh, he, it's this his unofficial name. He will yeah, never be named that is in what we refer to him because in it's... canon. But that is his unofficial name, and uh, he is uh, 
He's obviously Oni's boss in the Onipex and Pals, and we have created extended lore for his character that will never actually Season be three, explored. Which will never come out. Expands him greatly. <laughs> yeah, he's an important character. He's probably he's probably the new best character of the show <laughs> up there. He's up there. He's, he's very, a, a very entertaining. Character. He's a, a great main character mainstay in the season that will never come out, you know? Yeah. Oh, well. But he's great, and we love him. Daroni is pimp god. Yes, he is. Um, Roni is the boss billion baby. What? <laughs> Ugly. I don't like that comment. That made me. That, that, that made me sad. <laughs> um, baby, gross. Uh, oh dang, that's a great bot, Gowan. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I you love see- guys use. <laughs> I love, you know what I love more than the username? I love that he's committed to it. He still has it. He's had that username and picture I've, I've for I've like years. Com- I think I've seen you comment before, but I love your, <laughs> it's your username. We love your work. We're big fans. Add <laughs> <laughs> with the profile picture. <laughs> okay, but go show us your Kalen Mock in the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, um... This, I did a big video talking about him. If you want to watch that on my main channel, or just don't. Basically, he's a dude. He's the the newest Look version that, that I made up. I don't consider him the main version necessarily, but he's a he's my new favorite version. Did he always he's, have the belly button? Um, this one not always in the midst of building him, but always in videos that I've shown him. Uh. Ugh. But yeah, that the bell the belly button was uh, because of my username. I got banned from suddenly Orange's Halo live stream chats. Really ugly. It's not even fu- what. Get a sense of humor. Come on. Ugh. Whatever. The kids are mean. The kids. Yeah, maybe maybe it's because he was doing like proper Halo streams. He built he's built like a decent audience for Halo streams. That's just kind of surprising me. I would think that. Uh, Halo would be one of those games where why, why are we streaming this in 2018? But he does it, and he draw. He's got like a consistent audience. One of Orange's mods got so upset because her gender is non-binary, according to her. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's that's probably why. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Here, yeah. Here we're just straight males. So it's nothing. Yeah, we we we're uh, we're disgusting. Caleb even uh, misogynist. White male. That's true. Uh, I'm I'm straight up white dude. I have so much white guilt. He's I just a want white boy. White, white boy. boy. <laughs> look up the song. You everyone here, look up that song. Give it a listen. It is my anthem. It should be the new <laughs> national anthem. <laughs> what? <And this, laughs> you know what? A lot, there was a lot of talk about freaking um, party in the USA. That stupid Miley Cyrus song. <laughs> Stupid people were saying that should be the new American national anthem. They were wrong. White boy should be the new American <laughs> national anthem. White boy. White boy. Ugh. But yeah. Um. That's a great song. <laughs> but anyway. Uh. Yeah. We're we're bad. Uh. We don't care. Uh. And I I personally find it funny, especially since it's such a long username. It's so ugly. <laughs> Went to her channel last and wrote, there's only two genders in her latest Titanfall video at the time. Oh, amazing. Well, you're right. Calvin, can I send you pictures of my mocks on Instagram? Yes, you can. Uh, feel free to do so. Message me, and I will probably respond, but just keep in mind that I'm often not super active on Instagram, so I forget things. There's someone. There's been some guy who kept commenting on my channel recently, being like, help, I need help with something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, just email me. Help. And he's like, I, I, yeah, <laughs> literally. And he's like... I can't get find your email. Please, you please email me. And like I would, I really would, and I probably still will. But I just keep forgetting because you need to more often than not. If you really want to get my attention, you need to come to me. That's my policy. Basically, come to me, you man. Him. Change your username to Norom, the greatest character name of all time, and then he'll respond. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that uh, throwback. That was a Callan and Davis character, classic Callan and Davis character. Callan is woke. Lamal, <laughs> ugly. Oh, I don't know if you mean that as a good thing or not. That I know that there are only two genders. 
Um, well, technically, there are only two sexes because gender is a term used for what you think yourself as. But uh, but basically, at this point, it's also just synonymous with. Oh sex. yeah, also Nigerian prince. Yes, Tom McDonald. White. That's the song. <laughs> yes, <laughs> great song. Be- it is the most uh, white boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I will play that song on the stream. Get the stream flagged. I will do it. Oh my god, it's so stupid. <laughs> Why, boy? Why, boy? <laughs> uh, oh man, that's like that's like the opposite side where you. That's where you don't want to get with white guilt. At the same time, I do find white guilt annoying, but it's oh, like whatever. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's the opposite side. And the thing is, yeah. he sounds exactly like Macklemore, but he looks like a gimp. Like, I don't like Macklemore, but at least he looks like a normal human being. <laughs> this guy. I got a better song for you. Where can I find Discord link? Dead or alive? This guy looks like albino predator. It's gross. Ooh, if people are sending me gifts. I don't know what these mean. If they're trying to send links here, I'm not sure if they'll work. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> white um, boy, white boy. <laughs> Black boy, black boy, we don't like the sight of you. Black boy, black boy, we don't like the sight of Jews. <laughs> See, the thing about me is you don't really know a thing about me. I was going to post the song. Oh, man, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. you, can't put- you can't post links and streams now because people can spam viruses and stuff. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah that would make sense. If you post, you know, in a URL for a YouTube video, you have youtube.com slash watch. I think if you do from slash watch onwards, you can. Huh. There's this Owen Benjamin song called Ballad of the Soy, Soy Boy. <laughs> Soy Boy. That sounds weird. Ugly. That does sound gross. Maybe we'll give that a listen. But I don't, I don't think IDS and I are going to become avid Tom Arnold, whatever his name is. Tom McDonald. Mac McDonald, Norm McDonald, yeah. Oh man, Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDonald is a great singer. I think. Yeah, Tom. Robo yeah. Riders did nothing wrong. Trying to send gifts through robots. Robo Riders did nothing wrong. Yeah, that's true. Did they, well. They Robo Riders committed the crime of just being boring. It's like. When people hold them to the same reverence of slicers, I'm like, nah. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. You think I lost it? <laughs> it was your problem. Oh, must be... <laughs> uh, oh, man. I need to come up with a great idea for a <laughs> Back and forth. Back and forth. Why don't you rap like Tom McDonald? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why don't you rap like Tom McDonald? Uh. Oh man, robosexuals did nothing wrong. It's true. Well, it depends. Yeah. Are you saying? Are you? If yeah. you're talking about people that actually find robots sexy, like there was and... nothing wrong with Robo Riders at all. It's just a, a cool mini Technic sub theme. But I mean, slices are the real precursor to Barnacle. Robo Riders was just kind of something that existed in between. Oh, okay. Uh, I know who the person is. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm in other Discord servers if you want to ever, ever want to talk more. I've seen you around in there, but uh, we're more recently I got kind of bored of the discussion in that Discord, so I've left. Not oh. left, I've just muted it. Um, My name's Caleb. Please PM me. We can have a really intimate chat about something. Thanks. That's, yeah, here's something. I probably shouldn't say this here, uh, but I have been recently I've been having more conversations on Discord with people that I don't even know that well. And uh, IDS is accurately foreseeing that I'm just going to become a disgusting mongrel of the internet if I keep yeah, doing this. My, I'm an old man who doesn't like Discord. As, so, as you should. So, um, just mainly because of the meme references and all that. It's just, it's just gross. So, yeah, it's all the stupid pop-up, get activated, all sort of, all, all those... You just popped in the server. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's just username. <laughs> yeah. So funny. Uh, but, 
It's like you're, they're trying too hard to be <clears throat> pop culture. And even though they actually have created a, an ugly setup that is conducive to gamers and idiots. Um, Anything that appeals to the demographic, quote unquote, gamers? No. <laughs> okay, we should we answer this question? Uh, where can I find the video where Callan raps like Eminem and Spider-Man? You can go on my channel. And not Lana's channel, but my channel and watch it. Yeah. Um, there is an un- unedited version, but uh, that's not even funny. So just watch IDS's version. Look at his channel. You'll find it easily. Uh, look it up IDS Retro, to be specific. Uh, because that's where IDS posts ugly uh, kind of fun I'm videos. Ac- I'm more active on my old channel now. Yeah. Well, that stuff, that stuff is fun. Discord is based. Normie alert. When you get a notification from Discord and it's at everyone, yeah, that's uh, that's a big joke with that. Discord is really great for twelve year old Roblox kitties. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, no, it's just using us and recorded. Oh, bye, Bionicle, the one madness. Thank you for joining. I guess we you didn't really make much of a difference in the stream, so I'm just gonna degrade you now. Also, like why. I've done before, your username is not very good. Bionicle, the one madness. Why would it be one madness? Like, why do you even need to specify whether there's a single madness or plural madness? It doesn't make any sense. I think... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't remember. Oh. Have you seen Black Panther? I did see Black Panther. IDS has not seen Black Panther. So we aren't going to discuss it, but it is good. So I would recommend watching it. Um... And maybe we'll discuss it on another stream. If you put in the chat, I will literally block you forever. Yeah, seriously. If you have seen it in the chat and you put a spoiler in there, I um, that will be it. I, I'm kidding by Angle the Wind Madness. I'm just messing around with you. I'm just poking. I'm just, I'm just uh, you know, yanking your chain. You seem like a great guy, probably. Even though I think you're if, you're, if you're using that Matel head as like that's the front of someone's face, then I have to ask what's wrong with you. It's a self mock dude. Yeah, but that's not that's not using the top of someone's mask like works three percent of the time. As in a, another <clears throat> face. Probably less than that actually. And that is not a face head that you use the back the top of the head to look like a face. It doesn't work. It's just a flat thing. Don't make any sense. Don't make any <sighs> sense. All right, I'm sorry, Bionicle Madness. Uh, I'm I'm sorry for bullying you, cyberbullying. <laughs> Jar Jar is Black Panther. We when got a spoiler. Mask. I don't get why people. If you mean his Turaga one, yes. If you mean his Toa one, I don't know why people use that one so often. Cool car. I liked your. I, I didn't mind your gag, but when you go J K J K after something like Jar Jar is Black Panther, I I think we know that's a joke. I'm just saying, you don't need to. You don't need to pull your punch. You don't need to back out of it. Also, All Star Season Two. I don't think I finished All Star Season One. Poor madness. Oh man, I uh, even when you see Caleb Jenner for the first time is on madness's side. <laughs> uh, as he should be. I bullied him, and I uh, I apologize. Message. Are you happy now? Huh? He retracted his message of JK JK. Oh, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, but now no one will see any of these comments and people will just know what we said. <laughs> Stop it. Wait. Wait. Uh, I'm watching Ruben for the first time today. Oh, no. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Oh, I just need to hear that bit one more time. I'm changing it now. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, stop it. Please. Oh. Awful, awful. Why, boy? We don't like the sight of you. Oh, man, this has been a terrible mocking stream. I have built, like, nothing. White boy, white boy. <laughs> oh, um, I might as well talk about this. Tonight, I'm going to do an extras thing. I'm going to be an extra for Universal Studios. They're doing some kind of performance thing. I don't know. I'm just probably just going to be standing in a crowd watching whatever they do. 
and I'm going to get paid to do that. So that's cool. There's not much else to say about it. Now that you've played the White Boy song, you have to play the Ballad of the Soy Boy song. Uh, I think we can watch that on our own time, and we can talk about it later. I, I don't really think that needs to be done here. Idea, unless IDS, you are, do you have a burning passion to play that song? I guess next stream. Next stream, we can feature the Soy Boy. That's the thing. I feel like we need a test. We need to test in private if it's proper meme material. Then, if it is, we'll bring it back. But we know White Boy is good meme material. <laughs> we do not yet know. As much as your recommendation, we, tr we trust that you have good intentions. But uh, next stream, we will potentially do it. Good job, Bionicle, the one well, madness. Okay. I don't know. Cool car, cool car asked, what's your favorite um, Ibionicle Kickstarter? And Andrew said, Mira says, Empire is the best. Wait, wasn't there only one? Wait, did he ever do an Ibionicle it, one? It, it, it was a joke. He asked, okay. what's your favorite Star Wars movie? And then he said, Empire is the best. Ugly. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Oh, I mixed. <laughs> Stinky. Uh. Oh, but yeah, I guess I'll call you Trumpet since it's easier to say than your long username here. Uh, Trumpet. Um, Let's call him Trump. Trump. <laughs> Trump. Uh, why are you watching Ruby? How excited are you to be seeing Ruby? Because I can tell you, we don't care. We he well, not we don't care about Ruby. Well, no, we do. Well, we don't. I don't care about. Uh, Ruby. We dis. We dislike Ruby. We actively dislike. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that yellow man in the corner? Oh, this is Jenkins. That's <laughs> what I asked earlier. No. Ruby. Yeah, sorry. This is Jenkins. <laughs> Why, boy, <laughs> Jenkins is a yellow boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. Pretty great. Season two is nice. Oh, he likes he likes uh Ruby. Okay. Alright, I don't like Trump. He stinks. <laughs> Worst president <laughs> IMO. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Ruby is just one big MMD animation. Do you know what MMD stands for? Because I do not. Wait. wait um, MMD. MMD is. MMD is probably for white boys. White boys. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Uh, was... <laughs> uh, God, I made a Ruby minifigure. Please, no. God has revealed himself. But red versus blue is better. Uh, you yeah, know, you, I agree. And that's why I think it's ugly that freaking uh, Halo fan fiction is better than anime fan fiction. I think it's just because, oh, Miku Miku dance. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Oh, what is Miku Miku Dance? It's like C CG anime stuff. Like, oh, okay. I don't watch Camp Camp. Anime. That's another Rooster Teeth show. Uh, I don't think either of us have watched it, so we cannot give an opinion on Camp Camp. I've heard not... I've heard, like, middling things I've about it really in general. I've heard really bad about Hitler's Camp Camps, you know. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> I don't think he was a very nice person, you know? I think I think Hitler could have used some good social skills. That was my that's that's my beef with Hitler. I don't like Hitler. He stinks. Worst president ever, I'm a. Yeah, no, he definitely. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> He's gonna drain the swamp. Donald Trump. The, the Donald Trump. To drain the swamp. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna get rid of. Oh, whatever yeah. happened, to Ibionicle? Oh, you don't know. He, Ibionicle still makes content. He is Alex Richards. He, uh, uh, well, that's his name, but his channel is called Alexander Empire, and he makes, oh, oh hell, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> he makes ugly content. Uh, I mean, lovely, wonderful, good videos about him playing streams and stuff. He, uh, yeah, basically, basically he's streaming on Twitch now, rather than, yeah, uh, and kind of vlogs, not vlogs, but. What would you describe also, him? fun fact, he was going to come back as Liwa in Mata, but then I got in contact with my other Liwa voice actor, and Abiyanko was also taking way too long. Yeah, he's still busy doing this Twitch stuff, so I, I got the other guy instead. So that's why, if you saw my recent Mata, it wasn't Abiyanko. And I probably will never give Abiyanko the voice again. Empire, I don't know. why? I searched Alex Richards, the first thing I see is a Fallout character. Yeah, he doesn't go by Alex Richards, uh, he goes by Alexander Empire. I'm pretty sure his name is Alex Richards, but I may be wrong about that. He, he's, I, he's nearly at 1,000. He's trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so if you go subscribe, I guess. 
Yeah. Are we really encouraging that? I am. <laughs> you, you're a good friend. Do you have beef with LJ? No, I do not. Um, not I'm not like his friend or anything, but um, but uh, LJ's okay, I guess. Uh, I do disagree with the, some of his opinions on bongles. Um. Oh yeah, I, I I don't know if you want to get into it here, IDS, but he has an interesting system of deciding what it what is a set or not. He does not consider the card ass dragon a set. Uh, I think I he doesn't consider the, thing is, the, the thing combo. Is two things. Normally, no, but if the combo model has been released as a product, yes, which the card ass dragon was. Yeah. So, I wouldn't. I wouldn't describe a Tawakaita as a set, right? But ultimately, and that's the thing. I think that's the easiest thing to do. That's the easiest way to go about it. If, it, but... if, it's, if it's released as a product, it's a set. Like Carlos Dragon was released as a product. Um, yeah. To Ultimate Doom released as a product. And that's to the Kuta other thing. Nuvum. That's that, That's why he never has done an Ultimate Doom review because he says that oh, it's not a set. Even though what's funny is he did do a Carlos Dragon review. But that was but, just to appease fans. Think, even... Okay, if you were going to review one of those two, the one that's actually more um, eligible is Ultimate Doom, just because it has a unique. I one hundred percent agree, and that's what my argument was. But he only did Cardass, and he agrees that under his guidelines, Cardass isn't a set, and neither is Doom. But he only did Cardass so well, fans Doom wouldn't. Set. Doom has a unique piece that doesn't exist elsewhere. I know, I agree. But he didn't do it. I guess he didn't feel like tracking down the mask or tracking down that whole yeah, set. That's just him, his way of not doing it. Because yeah, you know. um, and so I, I'm not sure. I guess he didn't. He do a review. I think he did a review of uh, oh the the what is it? Ernak. I want to say he did that, but I don't know. Ernak is, is weird. The thing is, Ernak is weird because Ernak is a combiner, but it has gold tubes from Brutaka. Despite no one at, like Brutaka was never included with him ever. Yeah, I think you know. I think that's one another thing. I think that's reasoning why that does count as a set to him because it has new pieces that aren't a mask. I don't know. He I, he really should review all the combo all the combo models that were released individually as sets as well. TTV's poop. Yeah, TTV is poop. TTV is kind of like Watch Mojo. Yeah, it is. Also, oh, by the way, by did the you way, see did the Black Revolution, Revolution script? script? No, I need to say this. I knew. I don't know if I should. Basically, I knew one of the people working on it. We. Um, for ages, I knew this was going to be a disaster. Years, I think it's great that everyone's hating on this now. But I knew that was going to be dog shit a long time. To be fair, I knew it was going to be dog shit the second I saw the fucking original trailer that everyone nutted over. It looked like shit. But um, but I knew that Fenner was a horrible person a long yeah. time before a lot of people. That's did. A, yeah. That here is here was basically the timeline as far as these things. Trailer came out initially, looked ugly. It's bad. Then after that friend of ours who started voice acting for it told us about the script that was basically when we first down found out that edge uh that uh, fail safe slash fena is a disgusting cringe lord uh god isn't real disgusting idiot atheist um like uh, obnoxious atheist basically um and so we knew about that longer than a lot of other people did then he started making comments on YouTube and stuff to his fans being like, someone's criticizing my work and they believe in a god? Uh, so that happened. That turned some people off. Then then I think there's other stuff in there, but then eventually it got canned and someone leaked the script. Yeah, uh, and even before that, there was that guy who made that um, expose on him, which revealed yeah. some film He stuff. made an expose, so that, that came Basically, out. Yeah. It was it, it was a, it was about it was eventually going to happen where it was all going to come out that the guy's an idiot and I just like to be to be the gay hipster minifig and say I knew it was, it was yeah we but to be fair we had insider information but yeah we knew even though that the, it looked ugly from the beginning but we were technically one of the first yeah, people like, to find out that he was a really cringy guy of work that was going into it but um you could put all the work you want in the world into something but if you don't have talent it's just going to be shit. <laughs> Yeah, or taste, talent or taste. Even if you have talent, because to a exactly. degree, yeah. you can have here's the thing: talent. I can I can honestly say that as ugly as his designs were, 
the animation of them could have been a lot worse. I've seen worse and more jarring CGI movement. Mm -hmm. So, and while it's not exceptional, it was okay. Uh, so there was some talent. He is not a, a altogether talentless individual, but he doesn't have taste and he's a disgusting person. So yep. why would you want to see anything he would have, he would have any kind of creative work over? Plus, Maybe if, like, you, if, okay. if you gave, if you basically told him in a vacuum, yeah. we have a model, put this something together, he might come up with something good out of it if he was very heavily watched, I, I know is what I'm is. saying. But as a creative individual, if why you would you ever want to make a movie? Why would you do, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a Bionicle versus Hero Factory movie that's actually Great. about atheism. Yeah. And the main character is going to be a candy cane lady. Mm. Yeah, it's, so, it's look. It's it was, everything was so inspired. It was such a great idea. Um, ugh. My question is, how do you make that white view? My question is, why would you want to make that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, no one would want. It's it's so bad. Uh, we had the script. We got it pretty early, as soon as it came out. But it was in the middle of the week that it was first revealed. Basically, um, us being adults having actual jobs, and like a lot of these bombs online it's like yeah they they got to making a, a stream reading it uh ttv did one and like i haven't watched it i haven't even read the whole script because i i as soon as i found out ttv did a read through of it i was like well that took all the fun out of me wanting to do that yep. um Dead. so yeah uh i guess now that i'm scrolling through it's interesting to see all the discuss there's a character named steve in this <laughs> bionicle movie I'm not even kidding. But you got to remember. I know a lot of people already know this now. But, the thing but is, you I did it. All the Hero Factory characters had normal names. Like William, Preston, Natalie. Yeah. That's true, but... Oh, yeah, I guess. So I guess it works in line with that crap. Sidorak. Well, boy, step forward. Steve sheepishly steps forward. <laughs> Sidorak. This information, it's legitimate. It is, your brace. How do you know? Steve talk, Sidorak talking to someone named Steve. That is <laughs> yes. Ugly I was shit. there, Your Grace. I saw them. The Bionicle creatures without order, agents of anarchy. Lost. Complete lost. Complete lost. Grammar, man. Come on. Wow. Sounds like them. Wretched beasts. Sidorak turns his piping hot gl gl Ugh. Sidorak turns his piping hot gaze towards Sartix, Jake, and Biohero. You three, you vouch for this man? Oh, my oh. honor. On my honor. On my loyalty. On my grandmother. Disgusting. This is not even a good attempt at humor. Okay. Well, we're not going to do a read-through of this, but I'm just kind of skipping through it now because I have the page still open. Um, I guess. What were you going to say? About Gen 3, and it's not real. And that Gen 3 looks poop. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I've heard so many terrible things about their Gen 3. Three, like, turning, uh, what was it, Pohatu, Liwa into girls, I think, is their Horror. idea. They did, I didn't even know that. Horrible. Yeah, that is their legitimate, serious idea. It's, and they're like, no, it's better to rake a character we already know a girl. Oh, yeah, Nuparu is also a girl. No. That's a great, I don't yes. think The ugliest thing out of all of that is, out of those three, Liwa is probably the best contender for that. Still no. Yeah, yeah but... still no. Here's the thing, like, it, like you could just as well, if you really want to reboot Bionicle and, and you want to like make it more fair for, I guess, you want to make it more for girls, I guess, as far as diversity, literally just make new Toa, brand new Toa. Oh, this was something hilarious someone told me. They said that as a way of honoring the original Toa, th their names should now function like first and last names. No. So people of a certain... No, no, no. It gets even worse than that. But their names should function as last names with titles, too. So, like, someone named Bob, in a vacuum, someone named Bob, who was honored in, I guess, Takoro or whatever, he would eventually become Bob Tahu Toa of Fire. Like, the literal label of each... The literal last name label is... The first name of the Toa of the tribe and their Toa of element. Jesus Christ. Like, why? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It's just the, a stupid, the, stupid idea. The, the, the drawing. Apparently, I think Kahi 
is responsible for a lot of these ideas because apparently he's been the most defensive about it. And it's like, oh, gosh, dude. Really? You need to yeah. grow up. That's the thing. Toro of Awe says Liwa and Tofima. Like, if anyone, it would be Liwa. But Poatu, yeah. like, I still say hard no on that one. But mm-hmm. Poatu and Naparu, that just doesn't work. No. Leekon's in this movie. I didn't know that. No, the, I'm a, a, the, that, that everything I've heard about the G3 looks like shit. The sets look... Uh, just no. Yeah. It's, it's I don't know. Hey, I think I'm going to... Just for fun, because this was probably the ugliest part of the script, I think I'll read the cringy Mata Nui stuff. Um, so I'm going to read Mata Nui's... This, is go, this, this will go down as a classic monologue that people will... When people are in an acting class and they need a good monologue to put forth, like a really interesting character monologue that describes something about who they are, something about what they've done. This is going to be up there as one of the best monologues that people are going to go to. Stuff from Pulp Fiction, stuff from classic movies. No, no, not, not going to happen. This is going to be the go-to. So Mata Nui says, You think parents love their children? Are you so naive? No. A child's existence is a necessity. They must be cared for, fed, educated, but love? No. After all, how can one truly love that which is designed to supplant them, to take their place in the sun? Jesus Christ. A vessel Firstly, of ambition. <laughs> yeah, let's finish. Firstly, this is an edgelord spiel. Secondly, no, it's not. How is it a necessity? <laughs> you can put your kid up for adoption. What the fuck is he talking about? Idiot. Well, I guess in Bionicle Land, you just leave him to die. Firstly, you don't oh, put him up for in Bionicle Land, is it? He says, Yeah. Read the first line again. You think parents love their children? The first response would be, what, what are parents? What are children? <laughs> what are <you> <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, no. Why are we getting into father and son dynamics and bionicle? Like, we have, where basically the most character dynamics explored is people call each other brother and sister yep. and without uh, much follow through as to what that means. Uh, in the original G2, the Glatorian, and it's uh-huh. not even explored there at all. So. I also like Rudaka's line. Aren't you supposed to be a loving, beneficent god? Why would Rudaka be the wide-eyed, innocent person asked that question? She's like well, a I nasty... Like, Rudaka does this as drag. Aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really what she should be asking, but no. Sirak. Oh yeah, apparently he did intend this to be like a distant future fourth Bionicle movie. In like, this is supposed to be like a technical fourth piece where Legend Reborn doesn't exist. <sighs> Makes Mark. perfect sense, right? Yeah. That's why none of the Toa are in it, which he has gone on record saying, the Toa are boring. That's why I put a bunch of villains in this. It's like, um... So wait, you got wait, wait, wait. three... If... Oh, oh Fena. yeah, Fena. Failsafe. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're kind of jumping oh. back and forth between TTV oh, and the Failsafe stuff. Can... The thing you want to tackle is boring to you. Why would you sink hours upon hours of effort into something you find boring? Because he likes the villains. It's yeah, so I don't like him as a person, so... <laughs> Nobody does. That's why everyone <laughs> has left him. Uh, or, uh, you know, Honestly, if I had to do a, uh, a stream devoted to Failsafe, I would do a read-through of all the comments he got praising his stupid, uh, his stupid trailers. <laughs> but the idiot deleted all his Bionicle Revolution content off of his channel. Uh, either he deleted it or he privated it, so no one can see it anymore. Uh, I know that someone has backed up. All those videos are available online. Um, uh, I, may, I, I don't know if I'll ever put a link to it in here, but either way. Fena said he always thought Vez- Vizoc was the lead with Baraka. He, he probably just looked, he, he just looked at the posters. Yep. That's, like, this guy clearly didn't even care about Bionicle's story. Not that they sh- necessarily should. But you should if you're going to write a freaking fourth movie. Exactly. So like, for him, I guess, uh, Toro was the leader of the Nika. Harley, the leader yeah. of the Harley. Yeah, basically. That's just an idiot. What a degenerate. And why is the media obsessed with villains? Yeah, that's the thing. I think he only need. I want to say he wanted fan characters to be like the good guys because he needed good guys because he didn't want to put the toe in it, which is stupid. What a, the thing about... Everything about him is edgelord, like, ah, oh, the heroes are really boring to me. It's like, yeah, okay, Mr. Fungin, guy who dresses up like Clockwork Orange every day. But... Yeah, that's probably, <laughs> he does, idiot. Uh, why is the media obsessed with villains? That's a funny thing. 
the media is obsessed with villains, but one of the biggest yeah. franchises ever, Marvel, is not. That's why all their villains suck. Um, but because, like, villains, the media is evil. Ugly. <laughs> 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 uh, Paraka and the movie are terrible. Um, I oh, everyone, and what? I think everyone in the movie are terrible. Oh, are you? Oh, are you, I'm Fair assuming we're talking about Bill So, so is mine, Ed King. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pox is great. Uh, I ruined him in Mata. I apologize. You know, I um, if he was a woman, though, you know. Yeah, no, he would be a lot better. I think that would do him so much for his character. Her yeah, character, yeah. sorry. Oh, Pohachi should be yeah, the first oh. transgender Toa. What's yeah, everyone... Yeah. Um, I'm going to say mine is Tahu just because I'm an idiot. I, I don't know. Tahu's fun to go to. I, I relate to him being a Meninist. A lot of Pohachi. Uh, I, think, I think women's rights are overrated, you know? As far as they can vote, now they want... Well, what can they do? They want? They've got everything. No, they want they want equal pay in the workplace. You know, oh, they still don't have it. Do they have? Huh? You mean the thing that they already have? <laughs> no, they don't have it. <laughs> then they should go to court and sue their boss for doing that. <laughs> that's illegal. Oh, uh, that's just, don't do. uh, <laughs> ew, don't ever say that again about the women's rights thing. Okay, I apologize for offending Tree of Or Productions. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hurt your feelings. Uh, yeet. I pre. I agree with that. Like anyway, let me a, finish this. I still have that video uh, called Yeet Dude on my channel that is private. Oh, you do. Nice. Yeet dude. Yeet. I love now. that video. You should have public, make it public right now. I could probably make the, <laughs> the Yeet Dude video public. It's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me let me continue with the stupid. It's not even that long. A vessel of ambition who, with the help of progress, will inevitably climb higher than you ever could. Not necessarily true, but okay. And therein lies the great tragedy of creation. You bring a life into the world. You do love them for a time. But while they are weak, small, of no threat, but then they grow. They learn. They question. They use you. They use you was a stepping stone. Great writing. Wait, so basically, he's to achieve scared. their selfish, <coughs> unreachable desires. He's channeling what? fear that his prog- his progeny are gonna be better than him. Yeah. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you want your kids to do better? Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, granted, a lot of your, your progeny aren't gonna think exactly like you do. But uh, mm-hmm. is it, if anything, wouldn't it be creepier if you they did think exactly like you do? I know my dad's probably disappointed in me for liking Bionicle, but <laughs> but that's just a fact. I don't know where to go with that argument. That's just a fact. <laughs> Is G3 a revolution? Both bad. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, which is... I, I... G3 is just a terrible concept. This is just a terrible script. And this would never thing, yeah. come Revolution together is anyway. dog shit fan. fan. It's his, his weird pushing his weird dimension. No one would have ever taken this seriously as soon as it came out anyway. Exactly. But like, freaking, there are some people who probably weird, think this G3. G, there are dynamic. some people that probably think this G3 concept is a great idea and they're 100% misguided. Yeah, they're 100% the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let me just finish this ugly thing. Um, then, uh, yeah, yeah. And in the process, they take your life, your legacy, and twist and pound and batter and beat and sculpt it into their insipid vision. You don't just create a life. You create your rival, your nightmare, the thing that carries on li- living after you are dead. You see? Why? I think he's so deep. He thinks he's like, he's making some great statement that Ugh. kids are what an idiot dude yeah and it's almost like i can i can almost see like the cracks of an interesting villain character in here you know, you know um, what I'm saying, right he's justifying never having a kid because you know he'll never ever get the chance okay um like he, he he's justifying in his head like having a kid is bad yeah. it's just bad news because he knows he'll never have a kid like <clears throat> yeah, he's 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 never gonna get a woman for one thing. <laughs> Unless, yeah, I hope he's probably gonna find some disgusting lady. He's gonna, uh, he's I don't gonna know. Find some morbidly obese land whale. Probably. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And then it's like, and what's your? I I love this. And what are you scared of that will replace you? And before he can even answer, Rudaka's like, "Are you supposed to be a loving, beneficent god?" So he, we don't even get the answer of what are you scared of that will replace you. So, because then Mata 
When you say benevolent, not beneficent, who the fuck says a beneficent god? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Um, then Manui says, what is a god but the prey names for the predator? <laughs> <laughs> the prey also, yes, for predator. Um, Nigerian <laughs> Fena is the candy cane lady person, weirdo. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why he changed his name to it. Ugly. Uh, although I think Fena is the name of the disgusting rat creature that furries are falling in love with. That's the thing. The reason he canceled this is because now he like he finally tapped into the furry fandom, or I, whether it's the furries or not, it's the disgusting mongrel fandom. Yeah, uh, whoever they are, they came out of the woodworks and found his videos, and now he's got fifty six thousand subscribers of disgusting mongoloids. Um, I love how we're all openly shitting on Fenner like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, so now he has a bunch of disgusting people who are his followers. And uh, now he has no reason to finish Revolution because uh, you know, you know, I think he knows even if he does finish it, uh, people are going to criticize it heavily in the comments. So now I might as well just make my disgusting furry CGI fan art crap. Uh, he, and, and you know what? I can't blame him at all. Uh, that's, mm. that's a perfectly logical thing to do. Uh, he probably had a bad childhood. Well, we know he somehow came out that freaking, uh, he went to a university and I think he was stealing assets from either his peers or his peers accused him of stealing assets as far as his CGI models. So then, um, I think he got kicked out of the school or he left the school. Basically he was, t- he, ha- he left <coughs> the school <coughs> hating and resenting all the people at that university. And apparently they later found his fail-safe channel online and started making fun of him. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, (laughs) which is amazing. (laughs) But yeah, yeah, so basically he's had a troubled past. and and, But it's not hard to see why. He's an off-putting person. I I think we we could just as well invite someone on the cast into a stream like this. That's a bad situation, right? To happen to anyone. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if you're stealing, you're bad. Like, that's not a good thing to do. You're not some innocent flower who was pushed. You're, you're, you're stealing from people. <clears throat> and secondly, yeah. all he's done through his, his actions, through his comments, to the way he behaves, he seems like a very elitist, very full of himself, rude, weird person. Mm. Oh, oh, so the school called him out. Uh trumpet put in the comments that uh his college actually called him out for the steal the assets oh yeah i do remember it being called edgewood, uh, edgewood. edgewood. of funny. course he went there <laughs> uh, uh but yeah um oh yeah no one would no one would steal assets from him i mean why would you want to steal like a <laughs> seriously yeah lady? i don't think he's uh, <coughs> i can't i don't think I, there's one thing in his videos that you could say oh he definitely made that that looks amazing <laughs> uh you know what? Here's the thing, though. Um, I uh, I feel like we've basically exhausted this conversation. But I would, if we could, if we ever got in touch with someone, like I don't know if I wanted to, not the weirdo people, just the, the low YouTubers who are like, yeah, Sartix, uh, Bio Hero, make them characters in the movie. Not that I hate those people or anything, but I just don't really. Yeah, that's don't the thing. Really care. I, uh, I feel. I feel. I've encountered Sartix before. He's a nice, he's a, he's a decent person. Yeah, I'm sure those people are nice. I have nothing against them, but I don't, I, I don't really necessarily want to talk to them. But if maybe if the person we found out about, if we, he ever wanted to talk about it, uh, his experience, uh, we could definitely yeah, yeah. bring it up on a stream again. Because that's the thing, like, uh, as immature or ugly and pointless as it is, Failsafe is fun to joke about. Because especially considering there was a time uh, where oh, he was getting tons of comments, like this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm so excited for this, and now everyone hates him, or or everyone who's speaking hates him. Every everyone who probably was commenting those things is just left and forgotten about it, or I don't know. Do you guys not like minifigures? No, we like minifigures. We just don't like the new Lego minifigs. And uh, no, I think I think, and we're not terms, the biggest fan of minifigs. I think it was in terms of making G3 minifigs. Why? Oh no 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 yeah well no, I- okay one. What Lego already did with minifig sized characters was fine enough in 2006 and 2007. That was cool. Why would that be the only thing? That's stupid. Why? Yeah, that's the thing. Always be bold, buildable figures. That was always the appeal of Bionicle. Exactly. Like, why? Why would you want Bionicle has been 
Barnacle is just built a buildable action figures. Everyone when everyone thinks of that, they think of that. Why would you want minifigs? Guess what? Lego has a million themes of minifigs. We already have enough minifigs in every other theme. Like why? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's so stupid. I, I I I mean, okay, fair enough. If you want Bionicle minifigs, come up with your own designs, ideas, whatever. As the proper mainstay of G three, that's just just not doesn't make any sense. It's not a good idea. In my opinion. And, and also, it doesn't seem it does seem like you crap on them a lot. To be fair, we were just kind of talking shit about the minifig thing. I have no problems with minifigs. It's just... Yeah, we were, we, were, we were only joking about the minifigs today because we noticed them on social media. And we're like, yeah, we'll laugh at these things. Yeah, and I mean, um, they're, not, and they're not bad minifigs. They're just kind of uninspired in what they're doing. They're just making random... Every super... single one of them was like a costume one, except for the two kids who are just going to a party. I think yeah. that's kind of lazy. Oh, and the cop, but whatever. Uh, you want minifigs to build? No, like the thing is, the only reason the minifig sets worked is because they built a world where you almost want to see some settings in it. You don't start with that. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. It could work as minifigs, but it would, be, it would be dumb. Plus, making them the standard minifigs with just robot masks looks lame. It just mm -hmm. does. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Trumpet reminded me that uh, I should probably be building something. Uh, I don't know. If, uh, <laughs> I might build. I, I'll see what I can do now, but I'm kind of oh, inspired right now. How long has the stream been going on for? It's been going on for a little while. Uh, we should probably end it. Um, I'm going to see if I can build something relatively yeah, quickly. Well, we'll give it like. Pardon? We'll give it like 10, 15 more minutes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Cal, what's your favorite music band? Oh gosh, that's hard. Um, I don't know. I love a lot. Not, not really a band, but probably Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald is one of the best artists <laughs> that we've of our time. Uh, actually, in an actual legitimate recommendation, uh, if you've ever heard of Krispy Kreme, Froggy Fresh, uh, he just dropped his uh, final all the audio tracks for his final album with his character. Um, and like, it's kind of silly stuff. You kind of have to already have a pre-established taste for it. So if this is the first time you're hearing about it, I ne wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But if you like, oh, I remember those videos. Yeah. You should go download the album. It, they're funny songs. Um, yeah. It's pretty fun. Yeah. So that's a good recommendation. As far as actual legitimate favorite bands, Steve Miller band comes up. Uh, Hall Notes is good. Uh, Rush is great. I love Rush. Uh, Bruce Hornsby. Um, there are lots of great ones. Uh, I cannot. I can't possibly name one that stands out above all the others, uh, other than Tom McDonald. Uh, he's the only one. And of course, Eminem is a good rapper. There are lots of great rappers. Dr. Dre. I don't know, but that's not really banned. So yeah, Cleveland uh, D12 show. is the best band. Now we're, we're, here we go. We got to answer the question. D12. Cleveland Show, Family Guy, American Dad. You know, <laughs> great show. The Orville. <laughs> oh man, I love that show. Callan, do you think the Mega Bloks Halo figures are better for than Lego Minis? Okay, this is an interesting discussion that we've had before. Um, uh, Mega Bloks figures, interesting concept because they actually do a decent job replicating articulation in small form and looking like not the worst character designs. But not only do they have that same Mega Bloks ugly look. They're also pretty fragile, so it's like, it's, it and it's not iconic either. <clears throat> it's not a perfect one-to-one -one metaphor, but you can kind of use the same "all talent, no taste" thing again because it's not yeah. talent, but it's like proficiently they're very good because it's like you're getting so much posability in such a small scale, but they look ugly. <laughs> yeah, not to mention with how small they are, this is another problem as far as um, they don't have ankles, and you really need ankles for something that posable. Especially on a small scale, because guess what? With all the posability and the legs you have, as long if it, if you can't get its feet to stand, it's gonna fall over. Yep. You could put it on studs, and you could get some pool poses out of that, I guess. But as just like a little thing to sit on your desk, it's not gonna work. So, yeah, uh, I'd, I'd I'd rather take the I'd rather take the nice, clean, stylized Lego minifigs, which actually look stylized and nice, with way less posability than those ugly ones. Yeah, not to mention you can often kind of uh, compensate for the lack of posability if you're trying to make an animation. You can do creative things to make it work. 
Uh, and because their legs are limited, uh, you can always just kind of stick them on studs for kind of things. It's the, the similar crutches, but they look iconic. They have a nice clean appearance. So ultimately, I think Lego minifigs win out because of the taste. It, again, it's the taste versus um, no taste and versus that kind of thing. I'm also meaning to ask you, Callan, is JoJo a psychopath in real life as he is in your stop motions? Um, not really. In my stop motions, I've depicted him as like a murderer. He does love to run around with Nerf guns and hold them on us as joking around. But obviously, they're Nerf guns. They're not real guns, as in the stupid Bioshort stuff I've done historically. So, so yeah, he, like he's a crazy kid. That's basically – he's your average crazy kid. He's not like an actual – I don't think he's going to become a school shooter. I hope not. Uh, I'll give it a few years. Thanks. Thanks for the uh, – <laughs> lol okay well we, apparently my answer entertained uh trumpet um uh, i love skillet some people are saying their favorite band was skillet i guess what are your thoughts on the matter <laughs> oh yeah um, i guess is a big skillet man i when i cook eggs in the morning i try to use a cast iron skillet um it's a good non <laughs> surface um awesome Michael, you really... the name Michael MGF actually rings a bell. Who is that? Um, I do not know. YouTube oh, is it someone who just commented? Or no? Someone mentioned Michael MGF. Oh. Oh, oh I see. Oh, yeah, he makes those minifigs. Yes, that's why. I've seen... I know that there are a lot of people who make kind of interesting um, <clears throat> minifig com edits and things, but I want to say some of them end up looking really ugly. I, 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 I don't know the people well enough. I don't follow the the market i enough. see them in passing like it's not like i watch this person's stuff exactly same um gosh i am so uninspired right now i can't build anything to be fair i need the next time i do a proper building stream i need to move move more of my pieces because i don't have any waist pieces which are helpful i have lots of ball joints but yeah i don't know and i don't have any heads on me here i have lots of armor things so and legs and i don't mm. have torsos Eh, I, there, there's stuff that I could be doing with all these pieces, but I, I don't know. I'm just today, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not having great ideas or really anything coming together. You don't really want a Ja Lokim. Only Ja Lok that I trust is Kim. <laughs> Ugh. Queen, all dead, all dead, all dead, all alive. Oh, why? Why did the bat wing get taken out by a small gun with a long barrel? <laughs> Are you talking about the Batman movie? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because science. What fucking useless. Like he's firing machine guns at him and does nothing and he pulls out this dumbass gun and destroys this jet. Oh my gosh! It's so random, but it's so true. It's the that's just like probably the dumbest thing in that entire. He's movie. like he he's firing rockets and machine guns at him. Not a single thing hits. Pulls out this goo. I mean, the way he pulls it out of his pants is so funny. Oh my oh. god, <laughs> Batman! Then... It's ugly, kind of ugly too, because Batman is like they're both kind of looking at each other so pointlessly. There's no like dialogue or anything. They're just kind of standing around like. He's flying around, and then the Joker's just kind of standing around. <clears throat> so it's like, it's like there's. I want to feel say that we're supposed to feel like a sense of tension, and like, oh no, this is real, getting real intense, but it really isn't. <laughs> it's very, very stupid. Uh, look, that's a good movie, man. It's a good Ooh, movie. Yeah. It's the best Batman movie. Laureen Cardio Jones. I have no idea who this person is. What, you think you're better than this person? Yeah, I do. That's rude. Do you, do you like to apologize now for making such an insensitive comment? I apologize, but oh, I know it's lies. No, I do they not think have you're... a new gun. God damn it. <laughs> Callan, you should I, build the TV I hate Batman. plastic surgeons, and I hope they all fucking die. <laughs> that is... 
that is not anything that IDS is quoting. That is his genuine opinion on yeah, plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Although, actually, honestly, I think we can both say that plastic surgery is really just like not a great idea. It's good for people who have been in accidents and had like sure. disfigurements. Yeah, cosmetically, you're just and, doing it and, as a and not only that, but if it's like, say, it's not life threatening or anything, but you're it's particularly ugly, like something really jarring. Go for it, but like little shit, no. You can yeah. Live with your imperfections. Basically, if you're like a disgusting, repulsive human being, you, I think you should definitely do it. But if you're like mildly attractive, but you have a big mole, uh, I don't know, or you have I mean, a little like, mole. With well, a mole is different. You can get mole removal. In fact, moles can be cancerous. So mole removal, fine. But it's like, yeah. I don't know. I could do with a nose job. No. What do you? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I actually just came up with an interesting like head that I'm building. So, uh, there's something. Now do a rant on TTV. Uh, we don't know enough about TTV to really take a dump on them. That's the thing. The only reason that why I was able to describe some of the G2, I mean the G3 ideas that IES and I have never heard before, is because I've been doing dumb things on Discord recently, and someone was telling me about them. Um, that's the only reason why I don't watch their videos. So I never would have known about some of their dumb G3 ideas, except through that guy yeah, who see, did. That's the thing. Most of what I've seen of it is through osmosis, and everything I've seen looks like ass. Like that, you know. Mm-hmm. But doing, doing, doing. <clears throat> Let me see. Any more interesting comments? Any more interesting varmints? What are your thoughts on varmints, ideas? I really like Horton Hears a Who. It's probably my favorite movie of all time. Uh, what did you think of the uh, nostalgicratic, nostalgicratic, the nostalgia critic review of Horton Hears a Who? I IDS. Was like half watching it the other day. Um, I watched then, it actually. It's one of the, 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 the only that's... thing that made me laugh was that ugly yellow thing that went into the bush. And I know he made a joke <laughs> about it, but I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> The thing is ugly. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the movie didn't... Uh, I remember liking that movie as a kid, but yeah, it's not very good. Or as a younger adult, I don't know. I don't think I've actually seen any of those CG Dr. Seuss movies. I saw that one. I did see The Lorax, unfortunately. Um, I think those are the only two, actually. Uh, there are the live-action ones. I have seen Cat in the Hat. Not good. You really see his review on Horton oh, who Hears a uh, Who was the first time I actually saw that character. That did he? I think I Dubs put it in his leafy video. The what? The one without a chin. I oh think he... yeah, yeah, yeah. His kid. Yes. Um. Yeah. yeah, I think he does because he says that a lot of people think he looks like a Dr. Seuss character. This one specifically, and yeah. then he says, "I think he looks like all the Dr. Seuss characters," yeah. <laughs> and he's not uh, wrong. I have a new manager at my work who also has a really weak chin. Look up Pete Burns to see why you don't want to get plastic surgery. Oh, gross. I can just imagine. Pete. What are your thoughts on Steve Hams? Oh, uh, well, do you want to get on that? Steve I don't know Ham. much about the meme. Steve I know Ham. a lady who... Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Callan, have you seen the video It trailer, but every Pennywise scene is replaced with the Pete. cat and hat? Yeah. I think I did see that, and I want to say oh, that man. edit could have been funnier than it was. Yeah, yeah. this Pete Burns person was horrific. Oh. Ugh, I don't even want to look. Gonna get ready yeah, to leave. Bye. Thing. Everyone who gets plastic surgery, Bye, is somewhere on a scale from normal to this, because the lips always end up looking like this. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. And is this a dude or a girl? He. Dude. Gonna me 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 the way you been it. You know not it. But doing doing doing. Had a powerful singing voice and was known for his ever-changing, often androgynous appearance. He fully admitted, greatly modified by cosmetic surgery. Ugh. Weird. What a mongrel. Somebody get this area in a pit. <laughs> All right. How's your mock going? Um, you know what? I actually am kind of happy. I'm just gonna end on the head. I'm gonna finish it in like two seconds. And who knows? Maybe I'll finish working. I'll finish it uh, next thing. 
and I'll maybe bring more pieces that will be conducive because it's going to be like a big thing. But actually, I'm kind of happy with where I'm going with this. Uh, it's kind of ugly, but uh, hopefully a good ugly. We'll see. Uh, let me just finish this real quick. I'm going to do a big reveal thing. IDS, Pete was a guy. <laughs> well, he's, he's making it clear. Yeah, I, I mean the name, but God, those pictures. Oh. Who's your fave Toa? Oh, we already answered that. <laughs> Tahu, and his is Pohatu. Uh, next question. But yeah, wait. What were we saying about Pete, Dave? What? What? Not Dave. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I was just more responding to the comment about it. Well, obviously the name, but like the pictures oh, look like a really ugly woman. Yeah. Ugh, gross. How embarrassing. You don't want to be... Did, wait, and he's not a transgender person, presumably, right? No. TTV decided Roxy shouldn't have cross. Why? Roxy are cross. Like, that. Why are they changing random thing? Ugh, TTV stink. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think I got it. Um, I might have to adjust it, but... Here is the head that I came up with. Maybe it's like a big, fat frog or a bird or something. I don't know. Uh, the fr- head, the front needs working out a little bit. Uh, maybe some filling in or something. Well, but it looks kind of like a dark contour with that. Yeah, maybe. He's like a gross little big, or not little, a big old fat dude or something. He looks kind of like an ugly frog man. Where's the frog man? I'm the I knew him as a child. The frog man. Ugh. You giants from Bionicle. I don't know. Hey, maybe before we end the stream, does anyone have any like ideas or things of as far as maybe topics we can potentially talk about or things in the future? Things that we won't maybe get into today, but I don't know. Just something last minute before we end things. I think the minifig series could use a clansman. Ooh, I agree. Uh, did, should they have like divisive minifig line? <laughs> like... But then again, if they if they call it the dis- divisive mini thing line, people are gonna get offended no matter what you do. Um, other than K- a well, clansman, thing, but if you if you offend both camps, will it balance out? Okay, so I, how how do you do that and make it balance? Like, okay, uh, the you clansman can't. would never, be one. Never, it will never cancel out. You'll just have twice as many people offended. Right, but okay, okay, but let's just say we we just want normal people to be offended, or, or we'll want. Nancy's to be offended. Okay, so Klansman minifig. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> negative Nancy. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so Klansman minifig, Hitler minifig, uh, Stalin minifig. I think those would be good. Maybe not Stalin, but Stalin could just be any Russian, old Russian. Uh, but then people would think, oh no, we don't want to offend the Russians. Uh, uh. I don't know. Um, to be fair, a historical line of many things would be cool. Even if it wasn't like you didn't get Hitler. If you want, like you could do Albert Einstein, all sorts of fun. They're fun guys in that history. Would be cool. Yeah, why not? Albert I don't Einstein. Know. Like Albert Einstein. That, that, that's, that's, you put them, that's why you can put the MLK minifig as well in the history line. Yeah, I know. I would love that. MLK. Yeah, it's so many good ideas. <laughs> People probably would be happy if they put like. Uh, well, uh, Malcolm X. <laughs> Someone wouldn't be, cool, be happy. But... <laughs> um, Build Mr. I'm Queen. Fly, I'm the fly Malcolm X by any genes necessary. Bring Larnu next time. Oh, yeah, Larnu wasn't around today. Um, so maybe, well, just, it'll all depend. On if he's busy. Huh? He just messaged saying he, he's been busy. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. It actually reminds me of the Angry Birds Transformer from Optimus Prime. Oh, Huh? Oh yeah, I want because they're they're they made like forty different branded Angry Birds apps. There's Angry Birds Star Wars, Angry Birds Transformers. The Angry Birds so, Star Wars one is actually pretty good because they changed the physics. Because yeah, I actually had time. fun with like the I I never bought any of them, but I had fun with the free download version because yeah. they had a few good levels that were actually kind of fun, gimmicky. Like they had the Han. Oh, one that's lasers. right. On Android, the the, the whole game is free. <laughs> oh, huh? that's funny. Well, well, good job. Well, I'm glad you got to play the whole thing because I only got to play like 12 levels, but that was okay. Like, I want to say Obi Wan has a weird, like, force pushing effect. 
Uh, Luke has like a lightsaber swing effect. Um, mm. Leia also has kind of like a weird bubble effect. And mm. then Han shoots lasers. I don't know. They all have interest. And then freaking Chewbacca is just big ball. He's basically the same thing as the black one in the normal games. Yep. Actually, no, uh, the black one's the bomb. The big, there's a big red oh. bird that's just like a big fat bitch. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad, dog. The black one isn't Chewbacca. Uh, are you seeing the Black Panther movie? Oh, yeah, someone asked about that earlier. We, I have seen it. IDS is not. Maybe we'll talk about it on another stream. Um, all right, looks like everyone's about basically leaving now anyway. Uh, bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to wrap this up, and uh, I guess next time we'll – We'll play by ear. We'll talk about other things, and we'll just have fun. But uh, and I'll maybe build some more things. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy something new I can build. We'll see. So long, white right. boys. White boy, white <laughs> boy.